Dude, just how that guy's quirks like works, it just sounds such like a pain in the ass to get that to work. Yeah, yeah his dad right? was like, Yeah, you make one wrong step, you're gonna yeah, split you're into fucked. it's like bro. <laughs> That's why I loved his dad attitude, man. He goes, Yeah, try. Uh, it's just not for me, son, but I'll support you. You know, he's thinking his head like you're gonna fail. <laughs> <laughs> So I love his dad's attitude. Very good side character. I hope we see more of him. Thanks to the Anime Isekai Podcast, a weekly anime show where we discuss the current season of anime airing. This season, we're talking about My Hero Academia, Villain Saga, Sword Art Online, and more. That's coming up next on the Anime Isekai Podcast. Now let's get started with the show. What's up, everyone, and welcome to the Anime Izakaya Podcast, week 12 of the fall 2019 season. I'm your host, David, and joining me on the panel today, we have Stratton. Hello. Next up, Hi, we have Brian. Hello! Next He's up, the one in the middle of us, David. Oh my god. Next up, we have <laughs> Sasha. Buongiorno. She would be Kurobara. <laughs> and then next up, we have Ku. Oh, hello there. And then finally, we have Taylor. Hello. All right. So uh, this week, this is the uh, pretty much the final episode or the final week of the fall season. And so we're just going to be going over through a lot of the final episodes that air today. And then uh, next week, it's going to be a, basically like a week break. There's going to be some shows that will be airing by then, but we'll still have to wait an extra week for stuff like Q and other shows. So we'll probably just do like a recap or review of the season in general, and then uh, maybe even some previews to what we're looking forward to for the winter season. And then just some news I want to get out of the way real quick. Uh, so basically, both Fire Force and Sword Art they're getting uh, so they're ending the first half of this season, and then they'll be back in April for the spring season. I should also mention to Oriyuki like uh, there was a, the twelfth episode aired. This week, but we still have to wait for the OVA coming out in summer to actually finish it. So, I guess it's technically not done. At least it's canon. <laughs> yeah, at least it's canon. And then, um, so that's just it for news. And then, uh, for Hero Academia too, uh, f- both Hero Academia and Fate Grand Order are gonna continue on in the winter. So we'll wait till uh, winter season's over, and then we'll do like our recap and review for those two since they were uh, airing like both seasons. So we're gonna jump right into My Hero Academia. This episode was all Lumillion or Tog- Togata. It should have been more. <laughs> just, just being the shit out Chisaki, which was satisfying. Uh, what a god, dude! Yeah, you want to make fun of, a, of his appearance now, David? <laughs> I told you he was OP, man. He was pretty was, badass. No, he's such a G. Oh my god, I love that character. He's so good. Oh. Uh. I guess I didn't like uh, think about how much hard he had to train too, just to like get his mis- and uh, his like going through through walls and stuff, and like having to be physically strong at the same time. Dude, just how that guy's quirks like works, it just sounds such like a pain in the ass to get that to work. Yeah, yeah his yeah. dad was like, "Yeah, you make one wrong step, you're gonna yeah, split you're into fucked. it's like, bro." <laughs> That's why I loved his dad attitude, man. He goes, "Yeah, I try. Uh, it's just not for me, son, but I'll support you." You know, he's thinking in his head like, "You're gonna fail." <laughs> <laughs> so I love his dad's attitude. Very good side character. I hope we see more of him. Man, uh, his dad looks like just silly. like him, doesn't he? Just, yeah, very silly, just like him, which. Yeah, I don't, gotta, know, like, I don't know what I expected, that. but it's just like just seeing another person look like him. Just, just, I don't know why it threw me off. It's just God damn, David. That's not all <laughs> about appearances, okay? God. They both have the creepy eyes, man. That's how you know you, you're daddy's son, man. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, but the, but the sacrifice that Lamillion went through to say that. So, like, because so, he got. Cause he, so, Chisaki, Chisaki was saying that uh, basically, once this bullet is so good that is it basically permanent now? So, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Supposedly. Supposedly, because this is the first batch. But damn. We have, conspir- we have some if... conspiracies already. Mm-hmm. I think it'd be really cheap if they go back on this. So basically, if it's like, oh, by the way, this is only 98% complete. So there's a 2% chance if you get like a magic surgery, you get your quirk <laughs> back. So Man. for the sake of the story, I would think that's a really big cop out if they do that. Yeah. I think I'd be okay with that cop out. out. 
if Eri's dead. Like if Eri dies, and I guess it would be a cop out. But if she's still alive, there is there's always a way for it to come back. I mm, think I don't know. I, I go ahead. I was gonna say yeah, they can like reverse engineer her blood. <laughs> I think yeah. because they made Stain die, I wouldn't see it past them to like to have something like like uh, Togeda lose his quirk as like a consequence. I think I think this show would be the one that would would go all the way with it and not cop out. Yeah, but like so far, like Hero Academy is it's so good with just actually having like really big risks to the show. So the, if they cop out of this, I would be so bad. It's like, bro, this <laughs> man just sacrificed everything to save this girl. I mean, they, let, they, let, they, let this man shine. They're almost copping out with like with the Deku just because he keeps, he keeps breaking his body with like not using his quirk properly and. He's still like, but being able to yeah, use but like he legit can't time. use his arms at max power anymore. This yeah, is just like the consequences. Yeah, 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 they, yeah. They and they he changed his like... diet. Yep. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He started drinking a lot more milk. They said they should... <laughs> it was in one of those like after the episode scenes. He's just like bathing himself in milk. And his mom's like, "What are you doing?" He's like becoming a hero. <laughs> the show, the show is sponsored by Kemp's. <laughs> That's right. Um, uh, it's uh, what was I gonna say? I, I feel like they could have used like this whole episode for um, for Lamillion instead of actually spending that first five ten minutes talking about Chisaki, which it was like it wasn't it was just it was like really weird where they placed it. It didn't, um, really, it didn't really give much like backstory. Chisaki, not, not honestly, like it's, it's, just, like it's like the same as when uh, he was a kid as he is now. So yeah, they basically just show it. it's like oh yes, that's right. This guy was a child at once too. Mm-hmm. I think yeah, I think was... they're showing that he was an orphan picked up by the the, the Yakuza boss. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 the old guy that yeah. I mean, I don't think it was oddly placed at all. I think it was placed just fine because uh, it gave some backstory to Chisaki. Although I'm pretty sure yes. in the next episode, they're going to try to explain more about why he gave up that name because he was super irritated whenever uh, Lamillion would always say Chisaki. Dude, I don't like saying overall. I'd rather say Chisaki. <laughs> like, yeah, apparently, Tokudai did too. Just sounds, what? Like some weird Transformer that got rejected by Optimus. Like, <laughs> overall. <laughs> and Optimus was like, dude. <laughs> Can we stop hanging out with this guy, please? <laughs> so, yeah, I like Chisaki a lot better. Just, um, I mean, it, I mean, it's more normal, and like, it also like, I don't know, because I don't like calling like heroes by their name because it's just so weird to say it. Like when you say call people by their, their actual name, it makes them, it gives them more character to me, at least. Right, but you have to really think about it. You don't really know these guys personally, so to call them by their first name is kind of rude when they have a hero name. I don't care. Yeah, yeah. So. let's show some proper respect. By the yeah. way, guys, I have a prediction. There's five bullets, or there are five bullets. Now there's four left. I think that's all we're gonna see. But I also think Chisaki will get undone by one of his own bullets. Ooh. Ooh. I can see that happening. Yep, but is that kinda... is the guy that the, 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 the shot it? I forgot the the guy that uh, makes you confess. confess. Is he confession. 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 Is, is he still awake or is he knocked out? No, uh, he's he's he's, so, he's conscious. He's conscious. Yeah. He's still yeah. conscious. Yeah. But he only had one bullet. Yeah, he, he got he thrown was, one yeah, bullet. He was thrown one bullet by Chisaki. Yeah. Yep. But the other which, ones are still kind of like lying around. Like I'm surprised that you know there's guns in Japan. But I guess it's Yakuza, so it'll be the only Yakuza, place you get a gun in Japan. I mean, yeah. he, they're Yakuza. Of yeah. course, they have guns. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You, you see them. And in you're that talking game. about a guy with a crow face that makes people well, confess. I mean, it still takes place in Japan. Even in a hero society, I'm pretty sure Japan would still ban guns. Cause they're, Bro. they're a crime MMA they <laughs> <laughs> MMA is the ultimate underground illegal thug activity in the series okay whereas in Japan real reality wise it's probably it was one of the most popular sports and very mainstream so uh, I, I would take that with a grain of salt like how Japan actually is compared to how the show has set it up yeah yeah this isn't reality so you gotta separate that shit just go okay <laughs> just take it apart that's um, right. I know, like me and Sasha kind of talked about how, like, uh, like the still images, like the still scenes, were kind of like, just like thrown in there instead of like it could have been. It could, I guess, it could have been like yes. a lot more impactful if it was actually animated. That's, that's what everyone's disappointed with, honestly. That like, okay. oh yeah, was, that yeah. threw me out completely. Like this should have been like t- taking the time to animate that because it's probably got to be like one. It should have been one of the best fights of this season, and it was just like a wasted opportunity, basically. So. Yeah, but I mean, I think I, you know what I like. Out. Okay, yeah. What I was looking forward to is sometimes what animes do is they will go from a full color shot to like the black, oh, black and, white and white color outlines yeah. that are kind of blurred. I always think that's a really good effect because I don't know, it just draws me into it more. 
I feel like they should have used some of that as opposed to still images, which yeah. uh, I was like, what is this? A, like an anime fan montage? Da, 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 da. <laughs> Especially if this was like Lemillion's kind of like uh, his like one like his episode where it's just like I mean, it, this is probably it, the only time he's, him... he's got to get since he got shot with the yeah. bullet too. So yeah, and you're, and you're seeing him like basically fight Shisaki just like straight up like you know hand to hand combat against the guy that all oh. just touch you and you're gone. And people were saying too that um that the reason why is because uh I think the director the first three seasons took up because I'm working on the movie or they were working on the movie at the same time as this season. So I think they took a bunch oh. of like important people with them to work on the movie instead. So I think they're basically shorthanded for this season. I was going to, I was going to say that because this season, like animation quality has been definitely a lot lower than their other, their other seasons. Like I was going to say, maybe how, they just set their budget on the, uh, not one, but two Kirishima episode. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Everyone's saying it's just, it's because of the movie. <laughs> like they, they split the resources yeah. with the movie. Yeah, I can see that then. That makes sense. Which is unfortunate because I feel like this arc has the most intensity yeah. behind it yeah. compared to the previous arcs. So you'd want to put your best foot forward with it. But know, so. they've got to play it. The only you... the only um upside to this is that the movie just came out and so they should hopefully had enough resources oh, really? for its second half. So Wait, it's out? It's out in Japan. In Japan? Any oh, reviews on it yet? Uh, I didn't I didn't look any. I'm just waiting. Wait, is this movie canon or no? I don't think it is. Oh, what? Uh, the... It's like almost all the movies are never canon. Well, like, I think... Demon Slayers. <laughs> it wasn't Dragon Ball. Just saying. Well, the, bro, bro. I think, I think the first said. movie, I think... I don't know if they said it was canon or not. They just like they just put but, it in like a time period in between it's not, the seasons. Think, okay. Well, no, I heard, their, I heard the, the, the girl and like the... The guy that's supposed to be like all, one of All Might's like best friends. Those, those characters I heard are canon. Okay, but... I don't know about, I don't know about the story, though. Um, that they threw them in, so... So hopefully, like maybe that now that the movie's done and like they were working on next arc, like they had more time to like for you assume like like the the ending of the battle, like the, like like the end of the next season should be really good. It's okay yeah. because so far everything's been kind of just the side characters. And now that Deku's popped into the scene and all the uh, artists are back, it's gonna be all about Deku. It's gonna make lessons, <laughs> man. This kid's just been kicking good. walls and shit. He's so <laughs> 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 the walls last time you kicked the walls, Terry. That's very hard to do, okay? I mean, is it times. drywall? Because I'll kick straight through that. <laughs> it doesn't seem like drywall. I mean, he's kicking like his drywall. <laughs> I mean, if you have all, if you have yeah, uh, yeah. if you have one for all, I think you're fine. Yeah, I think you're all right. Yeah, but yeah, because um, because after all this time, there hasn't been any emphasis on Deku at all. Other yeah. than the fact that All Might might awesome. die, and he has that one secret that he was yeah. holding back, but that's which I'm I'm, it. I'm okay with, like with actually showing like more like supporting cast like story. I think it's fine. Well, like, it's, uh, it's mainly been like like Togaga, Tamaki, and then um Kirishima. Like they see those three. Mm -hmm. I guess no I, I guess like Fat Gum because he's with Kirishima. So Fat Gum's a beast too. So, um, like, do you guys consider like uh I was gonna ask this like with uh um where with uh Lemillion losing his quirk? Do you think that's kind of like 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 what? The show has been needing. I know, like everybody's been saying, like, "Oh, like Kirishima is going to die, or somebody else is going to die." Is this equivalent to that? Kind of, yeah. Yes. It's, it's really oh, like, yeah. like you really felt that. I still like, think someone's going to die because <laughs> they went <laughs> like this. Like, he's, dead, dude. he's dead. Like <laughs> since a child, this man was working to make his quirk work to be yeah. a hero, and then just out of nowhere, it's just gone. It's like, dude, that's the most depressing thing dude. ever. It's like me scared. going to the gym for like 20 years, making <laughs> mass gains, uh -huh. and then just out of nowhere, a tragic injury happens, and I'm just like, <laughs> I just become so just depressed. Dude, that, that'd be the worst. Well, and like the coolest part about him too, because I really was on the fence about him pretty much right up until this episode, but he didn't even, <laughs> he didn't stop, he wasn't phased, he just kept, he just going. kept going. I think uh, people said in the manga too, like he just kept beating up Chisaki for like five more minutes. <laughs> uh <-huh. sighs> So, yeah, which is why I think, is... go ahead, Sasha. Sorry, if anyone is to lose their power and overcome it with their positive attitude, it's going to be him. Yeah, it's oh, yeah. Him. So, oh, yeah. dude, yeah, he's, that's, the that's, that's why I feel like... he's the equivalent of Rock Lee, man. <laughs> he is, uh, man. He is. I'm not trying to <laughs> offend people, Rock but I feel like he's he's a better character than Rock Lee. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> better take those words Damn. back, bro. What is bro Rock, this Lee, guy, had to Rock surgery, Lee had, had like, yeah, he had a moment of depression. This guy. Without hesitation, just did whatever he needed to do as a hero. Damn, so Dude, this guy is still fighting this and he's yeah. still man Chisaki <laughs> without whoa, work, whoa, whoa, he has no whoa, quirk. Whoa. <laughs> Sir, let's get Rock roughly some credit here, okay? He wasn't in the heat of the moment, like he has gone balls out in the heat of the moment. Remember when he fought, I forgot his name, like Kim Chi or whatever his name was with the uh bone marrow, the guy who like <laughs> guy. 
show bones out of his body. I forgot what his name was. What was his name? Was Kimchi? Kimchi? Kimaro? I don't know. Kimimaro. I think it was Kimimaro. Was it Kimimaro? There you go. That's close enough. No, it's Kimimaro now. It's Kimimaro. But if you think about it, Rock Lee just took that drink without hesitation, got drunk, and ended up fighting him. But the problem is when these guys who shine in the moment when they have to sit down and be depressed about things and think about them, that's where it starts to drag on them. So I'm curious to see what's going to happen that's with a million true. now. But Rock Lee, he's used to just being physical, and that's the way he gets rid of all his depression and anxiety is, I got this. I'm just going to train harder. But when someone tells you, yeah, you got like 50% chance of pretty much being paralyzed, yeah, that's something you're not going to be like, oh, I'm going to go climb a tree, and it's going to all go away. <laughs> so I think I'm going to need you to take yeah. those comments back, right, sir? I'm going to talk to you after this. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Let's see what happens in the next episode. But as of right now, but better character. I think, um, oh my God. I think this episode was basically like, I think it was, Toga, I think he was basically coming to terms with that. He had a bunch of ideals about being a hero. That's, uh-huh. he wanted to save a million. And he didn't, I think he finally realized that, like, just even saving, just saving one person was, like, hard enough. I think he, he has, he has, like, I think he's, um, what, what, what's the word? I think he, like, he actually, God, what's the word? Like, he, he understands that, like, like, this is what, like, he, he doesn't mind, like, that he lost his power just to save, like, one person now, because he, he already regrets that he already had to, like, leave behind Aerie before. So yeah. I don't think he'll be as depressed losing his quirks. I think he'll, he'd rather, like, do a positive spin and see that he did everything he could just to save Aerie, and it was worth it. Well, um, I think in his mind too, like, cause the, the only news that they have about those shot is it's temporary. He, I don't think he knows it's permanent yet. That's um, true. He's got to find out. So, well, yeah. I mean, so I'm so like seeing like out. after like he finds out, like, I think he'll be depressed, but I think he will, well, I think he'll have a positive attitude. Cause I think he really felt that like, he was like, when he was like down on himself, at, like at the meeting, cause he, he thought like, yeah, he just didn't like realize that how much. How much you had to put at stake, and this is him like put, doing it. So yeah, right. But what Sasha was saying earlier though was how heroes um like come back up after this, or how their resolves is. Um, let's see how he bounces back because that'll determine like how good of a character this guy is. I do like, think like his his character type is the type to bounce back though. Right. Or he would be the one. So uh, yeah. I'm just I'm just saying like he. I think he already figured it out just before this. That, like he was ready to sacrifice everything. That's why he was. Yeah. That's why he was. He was still willing to fight even after he lost his quirk. Right, but that's what the that's adrenaline rush, right? Once everything settled down and he comes to terms with what really mm-hmm. just happened and how severe it is, uh, how he bounced back from this, that's going to really determine how good of a character he is. Yeah, I, but I, I really like wish he's, he's a. I mean, he's still a good fighter, so he can still be a good like yeah. martial artist. Like, race, I, so. I still really wish they would have like actually animated the fight with Chisaki when he like during the time he lost his quirk. Just oh, like yeah. I think that would look so epic. Yeah, like, the guy was just still going because like, it's like the guy's already like still just going like uh like hand to hand. I even thought like the, even when he's still like the point where he still had his quirk where he's kicking the guy in the face where he's like he's going through the area to basically mm-hmm. like then contact like make contact with the guy. Mm-hmm. I just thought the, that, that, that was, was pretty badass. So yeah. cool. that was pretty yeah. badass. Taylor didn't I know what thought happened. he was gonna. <laughs> I just thought he was going to die, though, once he lost his quirk. So I'm um, props to yeah, him for not same. dying. I thought, yeah, I thought he was going to get like, his arm. Like, I thought he was, was going to get like, his arm like dis- dissolved by Chisaki or something. So. Well, I was, well, the whole time, I basically, like, uh, like uh, we were watching the episode, and Taylor was just kind of like laying in the, yeah, the, laying in the chair, and then all of a sudden, like, everything that was happening, she just started, start, they just started to move just, like, straight up. I actually, like, you know, like, worrying of, worrying of, like, thinking, like, oh, God, this guy's going to die. <laughs> Oh yeah, there well, was I just feel like there's been a lot of rinse and repeat this season, and it's been a lot of backstory and build up of side characters, and it finally moved mm-hmm. forward this week. Caught my attention. True. <laughs> yeah. I think it would have been great if Chisaki like stuck his two fingers out, his forefinger and middle finger, and got him in the eyes, and instead of blowing <laughs> his eyes up, they just turned to normal eyes. He's like, "What? <laughs> How does this happen?" <laughs> <laughs> How are you guys so, going to be so rude to this hero? How are you guys going to keep making fun of the guy? Dude, Listen, yes. man. He's what? unique. My prediction, he's laying in a hospital bed. Fat Gum comes in because, you know, he's the closest to Fat Gum. Bro, you can't use your cork anymore. And he's going to start to cry. Then you see Fat Gum unzip his shirt. And just feed him some Fat Gum breast milk. <laughs> he's like, this will make you feel better, bro. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, you may now continue. <laughs> uh, okay. 
Do you guys think that uh, he'll get passed down uh, one for all? No. No. What? Really? <laughs> Why not? Did you get that from Deku? I mean, yeah. If, if Deku, no, Deku ain't giving that up, Deku no, is the quirk. Because you only. Yeah, because there can't be two people with it, right? No. It, it's yeah. just. You pass it down yeah. through generations, so you can't do it like mm-hmm. it's only one per generation. generation Unless they're in the showers together, in the gray <laughs> showers, and then he takes a piece of Deku's hair and just swallows it. I could see that happening. But the thing is, like the person that like they have to be, they have to be the one like giving the power away. They can't just take it like that. Um, what do you mean? What do you, all Might still has one for all. Well, I mean, he used it all, but they both had it at the same time. Yeah, well, but he was losing his power though, because like, it's basically it keeps just like transferring over. Listen, not, not transferring, but he just. It, it just it just slowly just like uh loses it over time. Lamilia deserves it. <laughs> uh, Let's have a spin off series where Lamilia is a main character and then David can just I, shit on his eyes the entire dude, time. I mean, Lamillion, that, Lamillion that's why happened. that's why Night Eye was so pissed at uh All Might for giving away the one for the all for the one for all for uh to Deku instead of, instead of Togaga because. He would have been a god. Yeah. Well, we <laughs> should figure out like, why he didn't get it, right? Because there's still a reason as to why All Might didn't give it to him in the first place. Uh, All Might mentioned it, though, that he he didn't... I, th- I don't think he met the guy until he, after Deku. Um, no, he met he, him before Deku. Are you sure? No, I, I, yeah. I'm pretty sure he ran into, it ran into Deku before uh, Lumilia, or uh, Togata, and then that's why he chose Deku. Because they, they mentioned that in one of the episodes, that that's the reason why like he chose uh, Deku. Mm. I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, I do remember that. Yeah, it was one of the earlier episodes this season, actually, where they did the flashback. Yeah. I just I don't even remember the exact reason, but yeah, yeah, because that's when Deku uh, he talked to All Might about it, and then All Might um, talked about how like because because he met Deku first uh, type of thing where he uh, so. Hmm. But yeah, I, I, I think I think like it seems so unrewarding. I met you first, so you have it. Mm. Well, first, I mean, first it was also the, like his, is, his passion for to become a hero with yeah, like he's... literally being powerless so yeah he saw you know Deku run into save yeah. Bakugo and then that's kind of like what like made him realize like he can go above his powers as well <clears throat> well that's yeah. why I'm not sad that like Deku has the power and not Togata because uh I mean he's still several years younger than Togata and he didn't even have a quirk for most of his life and he's already mm-hmm. making really great waves from the one year or so of training that he's had Right. By the time that he gets yeah. to Togata's age, God knows what he'll be capable of. Yeah, but just think if Togata had it like from the beginning. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> like I would have been an absolute monster. We can't have everything we want, Strain. All right. That yeah, would have been too He's easy. He's already because, a monster, all right? Yeah, because it would have been too easy. Like we already know, like you know, villains aren't getting anywhere with him. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, but with, if, the, if Togata got it, then there would be one superhero, and there would be no Deku. So there'd be less heroes out on the playing field. So it works out better this way. I mean, better it's all right. The there's already sure. one less now. <laughs> Yeah. Ooh, I don't know. He won't be Girl got saved. <laughs> What's up, Brian? No. I, I was just say he, he's just gonna be literally that guy that just runs around and just punches people in the face without it like the fucking power. It's but, gonna be great. Ooh, a million? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think like he's gonna start his own like truck moving service and just help people <laughs> out. <laughs> like that, typical anime fashion, I, dude. That guy was That's still. Right. I, I mean, he was still a beast, though. Even without his, like, he was still like basically going hand to hand against the guy that had like a, uh, you know, the, the quirk that you know, you touch, you, know, you touch, it's over. I mean, that's only good for what MMA. <laughs> so, yeah, dude, he's in, you'll yeah. see him in an MMA ring against uh, a <laughs> guy. Yeah, oh, yeah, this rapper. is where he walks on a dark path with Rappa. <laughs> yeah, I guess I guess it'd be like, kind of like how he's like against like ranged opponents. But yeah, he got yeah he got caught. He got impaled a few times. Mm-hmm. What if him and Rappa become a couple? <laughs> you should Rappa you. wraps his arms around him. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I think I still think Lamillion could take on Rappa. <laughs> even his current hey, state. Uh, I don't know I don't about know that. About Random that. segue. That's a Dude, even Chisaki much. was confused by a toenail magnet person. Remember, he's like, sorry about... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I was I and they're like, it's, a, it's a girl. And he's like, oh, yeah. whatever. <laughs> yeah. So I was just as confused as my boy. Holla, holla for $10. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I think most people would have been confused. Like, uh, But they, they did reference it in one of the episodes. But the problem is, like, the, the, like, the seasons aren't, uh, they aren't consistent. So it's like just long breaks and you just forget those those type of things. Yeah, I for- um, forgot about everything. Like, I like how they yeah. explain all their powers again because I completely yeah. forgot about, like, twin. Yeah. I, I- Twice. Twi- oh yeah, dude, I forgot twice. His thing twice too, yeah. I, I remember his, but I, I forgot. I didn't realize Toga. She had to like actually drink the blood. I didn't realize that was what had 
what she had to do. I was like, oh. Yeah. Yeah. I, I swear she she's gotta be somehow related to the same. Like there's Dude, no she, way that she's not. She a hundred percent has AIDS. <laughs> what? Bro, that wasn't that's what I was going for. That got dark real quick. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we just waiting to say that sometime throughout the. <laughs> she got an AIDS hey, for guys. sure. She's a villain. Dude, the amount of blood that she's ingesting, that has to be like it's so it, it has to happen. She's getting right? it from heroes. Are you assuming that heroes are dirty people? May, no, dude, I mean, hey, how do you know? Dude, you don't know her past, bro. Oh, no, I feel like the quirk would heal that. For there's got to be some Come sort on. of quirk. There, there's got to be some sort of quirk that's like that, like you know, is the uh, is the the cure all to that uh, that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's, it's gotta uh, happen, man. They it's, gotta eighty four thousand dollars in cash. Dude, they got <laughs> they got a kid they got a kid that turns like everything into vinegar. There's there, there's gonna be somebody that can, <laughs> that can cure. Always gotta bring that up, Strand. God damn, Dude, that kid See, will forever be a meme. Mm-hmm. Her arc has potential <laughs> because what if she becomes like the best first aid or a uh, Red Cross worker of all time? But she's like, I changed my life around. I used to do this and work for the Yakuza or League of Villains. But now I help people and change their blood. What is she gonna do with for the Red Cross, man? She's gonna take she's just gonna take their blood. Yeah. No, and, and no, transform man, into them. That's all she does. She transforms. <laughs> yeah, basically yeah. the press is just like, please let me die. And she's like, I will live for you. And then she just sl- slits her throat, takes the blood and move and then turns into them and moves on. I like that. I guess it got dark real quick. Um Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah well, uh, as long as we're on the oh, dark wait. subjects. What is her name? Tolga. Okay. Himiko Toga. Toga. Oh, Toga. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, there's Toga. Like, and Toga. I thought you said Togata. I'm like, oh, yeah. isn't no. that Lemillion? Yeah. That's, right. that's why I just say Lemillion. Like at this point, like in the season, like it's especially since they're both a part of it now. Like I just call Togata Lemillion just to kind of keep it okay, I don't think easier to be hard, separate. But, uh, but yeah. All right, guys. Predictions for the last four bullets. Let's just do a like, quick initial predictions. First thing that comes to your mind. Let's go with Brian first. Deku. What? Yep, he's done. Sir, show's <laughs> over. Off, show's off just straight up over. Deku's getting it. Off he gets all the yeah, ever. <laughs> I, I think, I think Chisaki's, I don't think anyone else got get hit. I think he's got not use it or he's got miss when he uses it. I think, I think right. uh, Togawa was the only one this season. Strong. Mm. Strong. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll kind of piggyback off your idea where Chisaki's going to get hit by it. Um, I think at some point, I think Chisaka could be hit oh, by actually, it. I, mean, no, I, like, I like that better, too. I'm going to change my mind to that. No, no, David, you're going to have to do that. Do no, I, I like that better. <laughs> you can't flip-flop like that. I like that better than mine. Yeah, I, like, I legit think Sasha had like, the best idea. Like I, I definitely think Chisaki's going to be... He's going to be your, somehow... I'll agree with Stren. I actually like that better. <laughs> like, like, if it's not shot, he's going to get hit by it it's in some way. Um, and then, was it those three other bullets? I, I'm going to just guess at least one's going to miss. I, I can't see all of them hitting people. I think um, another one might hit a, one of the League of Villains. Like, who knows if they're going to use it against each other? Because once they find out, oh, man, this can take away your yeah. work permanently, yeah. you never know. Because those guys are always looking to backstab each other, even though, you know, on the surface, everything looks nice and friendly. Yeah. I could, in a way, like, if Deku, okay, if Deku ends up getting hit by one of these bullets, I'm thinking, like, okay, there's no way it's going to be permanent. It's it's like immediately with us like a main kind of character. Um, I just no, think I think the show's over, over if he gets hit. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Either that or they basically find a way to cure it, which is like, but in a way, it's just going to be kind of like a, a, a in a way a cop well, out. That's going to be more of a cop out because then like you can cure <clears throat> you can cure yeah. it. Like, but, well, but I'm just saying like if 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 Deku does get hit by it, then I'm thinking like okay, there's going to be a cure or a cure or like a way around it. No, that's um, why they're hyping up Red Riot. Red Riot's going to take over. He's no. okay, man. So, so, yeah, okay. All right, cool. Your thoughts. <laughs> He's with the Yamcha. Wait, wait, I got one more bullet. <laughs> um, uh, and I think, like, I don't think Aizawa's going to get hit. Uh, maybe Night Eye? Because Night Eye is there, and he's like he's the one that actually can see the future and what happens. So maybe he can do something. Maybe. Uh, but you can't hit him in the abs because they're made of steel, basically. So <laughs> that's fair. I think that is fair. Might break the bullet. That is fair. But yeah, that's, I think that's where my bullets are. I think it was, yeah, that's fine. Uh, you know, I feel like it's going to be that way where they're going to take a shot at Deku, but it's going to miss or it's going to not hit him somehow for some reason. And then Chisaki's going to get hit with a bullet as well. He's going to lose his powers that way. But then for the two extra bullets, I feel like the League of Villains is going to somehow take it and like run away with it. Oh, yeah. I think oh, League of Villains okay. failed. I, th- I think they're gone. I think, I don't think twice. No, they're still there. Uh, you don't think Tomar's going to show up the next to the fight someone? I, I think they're still there. 
No, yeah, they got that portal least... guy, remember? That guy can like just yeah. randomly appear places. Yeah. Well, they yeah. basically because well the whole thing is like when he's just like, Oh, we've been used, or like or as I was just like, Oh, they, they were using like the other people. I think Toga and Twice are gone. I don't think they're gonna stay. I think their the whole point of them was just basically get them. You think the entire League of Villains is gonna be gone? I think so. I think this arc is basically Shisaki, Shisaki and just Shisaki. using, and using Shisaki. Shisaki. Yeah. yeah. Right. But then like I said, it's gonna be like the like the stepping stone for the League of Villains because they're gonna come back out now in full force, but then yeah. they're gonna also take this uh, those two bullets or whatever and use it as well. I could easily it's... see, yeah, I could see one bullet still left over and like, and then them take it somehow, right? Because yeah. I still think this is just like uh, <clears throat> setting starting, up, yeah, setting up for the League of Villains later on. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Could be Taylor. Your thoughts? Are we still on who the bullets are gonna go into? For sure. <laughs> I think we've I think we've covered a lot of the points, but one that I think would be interesting and really sad is if it if it hit Bakugo, like right after he finished his new training to be able to actually get back into stuff. I'd love he just to see it, it just by just straight bolt. Like, Bakugo's not even here. He, he flies, I know, he flies I know but after he takes alert. his test. Oh it's gonna be like that stray like drive by shooting bullet that <laughs> hits people randomly. Like he's just sleeping <laughs> he in his room. He doesn't know what's going on yet. Like he doesn't know any of this information. Like I feel like he would explode. No. Then every time he hears the song, this girl is on fire. He gets depressed. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Bakugo. Yeah, those are just my initial thoughts. <clears throat> Otherwise, yeah, I was gonna say Night Eye, and um, yeah, Night Eye was my first thought. Sasha, I feel like, bro, I gave my thoughts already. Oh, did you? <laughs> my bad. Yeah. Remember, Threaten was like, I got Sasha's back, and then yeah, David was like, Oh, I'll take Threaten. Oh, I thought you were going to say some yeah. other. Well, David changed okay. his mind. I did. In all seriousness, <laughs> I feel like if they really wanted to cop out and give Togata his powers back, they'll pro- I feel like a stray bullet is going to hit Aerie, and her powers are just all negated completely. Bro, her blood, like, that's her blood. <laughs> exactly. So she shoots herself and she uses, negates her entire power. I don't know if that's how it's going to work. Dude. But- uh, I I take it. It's a theory. I mean, if it somehow like actually fixes her, I'll take it. But I just don't know. It it doesn't really make of like what we know. I don't. It doesn't really make sense. Um, unless they do something else. But <clears throat> but but even if if uh, if they do do the cop out with Togata, like let's say like they can somehow like fix it, I would take it. Was that the only one that was tearing up from that whole thing? I, I mean, I think probably was epic, yeah. but like. The the thing is, it wasn't as like, There's... if it it wasn't animated as like harshly, so it's like it's yeah. hard to get super into. So I was like, yeah. yeah. But I mean, it was a cool enough. episode. I think I would have teared up. <laughs> but the flashbacks, man, like where they were showing him like the whole thing, and then like his like like he was like finally like, like smiling to her like right before he got hit by the bullet. Uh, I uh, definitely uh, felt it on the inside, but, but not on the outside. <laughs> the tear didn't come out; it was just inside. You need more. Time. Yeah, I was tearing yeah. up. I was tearing up pretty hard. Yeah, I'm gonna tear yeah, up when Chisaki dies. That guy has to live such a hard life. He got one scratch and he had acne breakout. Think how difficult his life is. <laughs> I mean, that I, I just can't imagine life like that. Should have been a bubble oh. boy. That's right. Well, what Dude. do you guys think about the the preview? Because uh, apparently, not I had a look into Aries and uh, Deku's future, and that's it's kind of iffy as to what's going to happen. Oh, I don't so remember what do you that guess? at all. Yeah, because I'm ready. Deku breaks through the wall. Yeah. What's up? Deku breaks through, right? And then he's yes. like, yo, what's up, guys? Yeah, that's yeah Deku breaks through. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah, but then uh, in the preview, uh, they show you a preview of what's going to happen next. And apparently, Narai takes a look at Deku and Eri's future. And it's it oh. kind of sketchy as to what might happen for them. I don't yeah. remember. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, basically, Narai's there. Aizawa's there. Um, but I I think it's just, I think it's only Aizawa and uh, Narai, though. I don't think there's anybody else in that group. No, I think it's just history. Yeah. So, and then I, yeah. We shall see. All I know is, like, uh, I don't know. Lemillion's badass. I want his figure over here. Oh my God. I think you got plenty <laughs> wait, here. Wait, put in a figure plug, Threaten. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you want to grab your camera and bring it's it over to that and showcase it or what? Yeah. And give, hey, us all, give us all give us all sickness in the process. Yes. We're fine. Hey, man, don't make me shake this, this camera. <laughs> all right. Is there anything else that you guys want to add for this episode of My Hero Academia? I don't think so. I, mean, I, I, I think the Jana. what? <laughs> you know how they always like talk to each other like Jana. I mean, it's like basically see you later. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but um, no, I I, uh, I think I'm like just from the preview. I think like uh, with like the 
the still images and shots and stuff like this and just with uh um like the where like the animation has kind of been like below like what i think their animation has been or like uh i think it's i think the next episode is where like the the budget will go um i think hopefully yeah i'd say the next two episodes is probably where the budget's gonna go because again deku's popping on the like, scene and he has mc oh, i got so. a question for you guys too um you guys are, whenever you guys are ready Sorry, David, did you want to say something? No, I was just going to say, like, at the very least, like, Deku's final fight with Shisaki at the end should probably, it should be really good. I'm okay, hoping. that's my that's that's my follow-up question. Do you guys think that this is, like, the the final part of Shisaki? Do you guys still think he gets, he gets away? Or do you think this yes. is, like, where he stops? Yeah, I think he gets away. Really? Oh, he gets away. Yeah, I think he's, he's out. Die. He's dead. I think he's, he's out. out. I don't know about dead, but I think he's no. done. No, he's so... he dead. He got touched. He got, he got. He's, in, he's in just going to. He's actually just going to go insane. He's like, I don't want to get caught. So he touches himself and just blows himself up. Himself. I wonder if it works against him. Like, or himself. You know? If there's know. a will, there's a way, man. Fair enough. But I think so, it would make zero sense to end his character arc right here. Like, I know. What That's was what the I'm purpose of him? Yeah, it doesn't story. make any That's sense. Say. But, but, dude, like, I actually oh. thought, I mean, like, they ended Stain really quick, too. I thought Stain was going to go for a while, but it seemed like his, yeah. his arc was so short. But let's be honest. Stain didn't have a brain. He was just the guy who's like, yeah, I'm a stain. Uh, he <laughs> and they're for, like, okay. This is the head of the Yakuza. Like, it'd be such a yeah. waste to throw us away. I think if he was going to be ending soon, it would be like, there would have to be like a full flashback episode and then like a whole other episode. I don't think he'd die. I think there'd be like a whole other episode about like how, what they're going to do with him. So I don't, like no matter what, this won't be like the last big episode that he's featured in. No, I feel like this yeah. is gonna be three or four more episodes, but yeah. then that's gonna be the end of this arc, and then he is gonna mm-hmm. die, and it's gonna like move on over to his League of Villains. Yeah, yeah. I, ho- I, I hope I, it doesn't I, do that way. I want, I want a stronger end for for Chisaki. That'd be when you think yeah. Of, he has a two attached to a guy with a, with a mask on his face. But when you but when you think of it though, like they've already yes. had this guy's arc. They've, they've had this guy's arc already going like this whole season, and then it's already it seems so much I'm longer. Than what you're so, like, they need to do I'm not justice. satisfied either. I'm, they need. <laughs> I to, agree with you 100. They need David. To do justice. Like they cannot end it here. I'd be so pissed. Like I got you guys. All right, this guy is not going to be the guy that dies in a tunnel randomly. Like that. That would just be so weird. I think what happens is maybe they lose a member. He's going to get away, and then he's going to reassess, and they're going to have to game plan again with the League of Villains. That's going to set up the final showdown at the end of the season, and that's where you might see someone lose, like a major villain goes down. But I think what right if... now, go ahead, sorry, go it would ahead. just be yeah, no, it would just be too soon. Like it doesn't make any rational sense. Like you got a guy who's very methodical, who has long term goals, and then you show him and build him up for half a season or however long it's been, and he's done halfway through the season. It, like just wouldn't make sense from a writing perspective yeah, like, I'd be so how dis- do you write a character like that i'd be so yeah. disappointed with the author that's what he does like and then um, i'll blame why yeah, me because you, <laughs> you brought it up man you, you thought of it because so the author your fault. Dude, by all because the it makes i still i don't know i still think no, it, it doesn't make sense, sense because no because okay, you're not okay, giving okay. any good argument for why it makes sense hey, okay i'm just going by basically like the the previous arcs with this the hero academia creator like they haven't been this long they, they've, they've had the whole season that's like for Chisaki. You say whole season, like... but like remember the first season was a recap. And so technically, and this is only episode like eleven. So technically, it's only been ten season, ten episodes. Yeah. So. Um. So do you guys think? Do you think they they get Arena though, or do you think Arena goes with Chisaki Aerie. then? No, I, I think, Aerie, sorry, I think they got her. Yeah. Like she's yeah, she's, they got her. She's yeah. safe now. Yeah, she's safe. Okay. Yeah. Brian? I think Lemillion sacrifice has to mean something. And that sacrifice right. was for the purpose of saving Aerie. If yeah. she's gone, then his sacrifice was absolutely worthless. Yeah, yeah true. Brian, and they got a dumb his body. <laughs> Brian, again, this, boss. this is season four, you're, 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 and they just introduced this group in this season. So I don't okay. think they're going to be as important as you guys think they are. Or... I, got, I, got one I more bet. Thing. I got you, man. All right. <laughs> All right, I got one more thing before I can, I'm just done. Um, what if Chisaki, Chisaki gets away but then he goes for he goes to the League of Villains for support, and then uh, to, uh, Tomura kills him. I can see that him. happening. Right? Okay. I hope that doesn't happen either. Why would he either. right now, though? I really hope, dude, that... because dude, because they've already shown like in like in in the League of Villains' eyes, like they already see the like, Yakuza is just useless. Right? Well, I know, but like, why even bother doing everything that they've been doing up to this point? I mean, I guess it would be for like information or access to what they have, but they still don't have it yet. So, but, but I don't know why they would just but, but, go ahead. Sorry. Cool. No, right. if uh, so, he uh, so uh, tomorrow or whatever, like knows of uh, Chisaki's plan already. Mm-hmm. So he has information, and yeah. if if it goes out the way I think it is, where they get like 
like some some bullet somehow. Yeah, he knows about the drug already. Yeah, too. so mm-hmm. he has the drug now as well. So he doesn't need him anymore. He can so just... he has the drug. No, I'm saying if they do happen to get the he drug, knows right. about it. Yeah, right. Okay. So if mm-hmm. they do happen to get the drug, they don't really need him anymore. They have what they need, so they can just kill him off and do their own thing. Yeah. Well, they Which need Harry. Why... No, well, they. I guess they do, but well, they already have the product, so they. Well, kind yeah, of not really I mean, think... yeah, limited supply. Like it just doesn't. Like I don't see the point of killing. Him. I don't think he'd well, go to League of Villains. I think he'd still have other Yakuza groups to to re- re- regroup with. I don't, I don't think he's that desperate well, yet. Well, for Tomura, all he wanted, to, he basically just wanted to know what their plan was, the Yakuza plan was, and then like, throughout this whole thing, like the, I think just like how things happen, they they see them as useless and not necessary to like moving forward. So I don't see right. so in their eyes. They just see the Yakuza as just nothing. Just almost. I, mean, I just agree a little bit because I think if you're a villain and you got a chance to use someone else's power to help you get rid of heroes, you're going to yeah. take advantage of that. So yeah. I think the only reason they're partnering up is because, hey, listen, if we can take out a few heroes, that makes it a lot easier for us. So yeah. it's a win-win for them if Chisaki takes out three or four heroes and then the heroes end up eliminating part of the Yakuza and they come in and just like weep all the rewards from that. Yeah. So. I think that's the end game for Tomura, but I uh, I don't know if it's gonna play out like that. As yeah, a because... villain, I don't think their ego would allow that. Yeah, well, really? Yeah. I hope uh... that doesn't happen. I hope they're smarter than that. Maybe not the rest, but I think Tomura, I think Tomura is, is playing is the better long than game. that. Yeah. But the thing is, like, I mean, like, if uh, let's say Chisaki goes back to League of Villains, and it's only him coming back, like, and then because like his entire like basically at this point, like Chisaki really has nobody left. I mean, no, they, he has, he has other Yakuza groups throughout the country. It's not just that one I mean, area, that, that one place. Yeah. Hey, man, yeah. he has a guy with a garbage bag over his head that eats things, okay? <laughs> like, he's out of control right now, sir. Like, so. sorry, it's, not, it's not just that one city, the Yakuza, and it's all over Japan. So he can recruit yeah. all the Yakuza from Japan. So I don't think, yeah, I don't think he's going to be that desperate to go to League of Villains. I think he has more backup. But, but he might because they are partners now. But how does he? No, but well, I think he rather trust the his, country, though. I think he have his own. You trust his own Yakuza members, then but like. How is other... he going to get there? To get to that point, though. At this point, like they know who he is, like what he's done. He'll hide underground. He's like they have. He's, he's like Yakuza. Like they've always known. He's. Yakuza. He's going to wear a mustache. I don't know, man. I just don't think so. <laughs> I think I think it's either he's going to get yes, caught here. No, he doesn't, he doesn't even have to like, die. He, he doesn't, yes. he doesn't have to do all the dirty work. You just have other people do it for him. He'll just be like yeah. hidden this whole time, just like Yakuza. Yeah, I still think he's gonna get either caught or he's gonna die here or he's gonna no. die by Tomorrow. That's gonna no. be my. That's gonna no. be my. I think you're. No. Just... Okay, All right. I like how you just right. gave yourself three options. You're like, you didn't... <laughs> <laughs> you're like oh, I think no, for, for the end, just I approve. I approve. For, for how he's gonna end, I think it's gonna be one of those three ways. <laughs> three options. All right. like, oh, wrong. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm gonna give another option. He ends up just taking away his own powers and says, "Guys, I'm just gonna walk away. I'll destroy the drugs. I'm gonna make up my own store. It's gonna be called Chisake." And he's going to serve sake to all the people within the city. <laughs> that's his way of uh, atoning for his sins. So, I got guys, you. guys. I think my my prediction is has a stronger no chance of happening than Sasha's. Yeah, yeah. but I'd rather have Sasha's happen. Oh my god! <laughs> well, I'm just saying, like, You'd if, rather have still sake. No, oh, I'm not playing use. If any of this happened, playing use, friend, I'd be so Why? pissed. If that's oh, why the show god. goes. I'd be so pissed. Like, I'm gonna. Play. It's going to be all your fault. Yeah, but I, I hope it happens. No, I hope it happens. I'm going to be so then... pissed. Like... I just don't see why you guys are so attached to this new villain that was just introduced this season. I really don't either. Because he's so much more interesting than the other ones that have shown up. Yeah. Like, Listen, he actually yes. has a plan. He has things that he be, he's been putting into motion would, forever. Half of the League close. of Villains, I still don't know what they want or what their names are or what their powers are. They're like this disorganized mess. And then here comes in Chisaki on top of his shit. Like, I want to see where he's going to go he's with a it. fucking Yakuza. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> like... You guys gotta separate the real life stuff from the anime. Okay. Okay. I still like Spain. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm gonna stick with Sorrel. Like I'm a Can simple minded fool. I see this man stay. He's badass. I like Stay, dude. I wish he was here forever. Mm. I almost killed three kids, but I failed. Hell yeah, dude. He dude. stopped <laughs> Infernal Man. What? What's his name? What's the fire uh, guy? Oh, God. Uh, Endeavor, I think. Yeah, yeah Endeavor. Endeavor. Yeah, he Endeavor. literally nice. stopped Endeavor by just talking. That's pretty OP, dude. He was screaming, but yeah. But yeah. Endeavor, yeah. a walking barbecue grill. Not that impressive, let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. That's pretty intense, uh, barbecue number, grill. number two. Well, he's not, no, he's not number one. He's number one now. No. Based on yeah. retirement. Yeah. Uh, but he, yeah. he did respect All Might. I have no idea who Chisaki respects, if anybody. He respects 
whoever the, the, old the guy man, that worked right? for it. Yeah, the, yeah. The, his, oh, right. his foster father. Mm-hmm. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Yep. The guy laying in bed. Yep. Good guy. He's like, oh, you guys go take care of this stuff. <laughs> They're like, Father, we need your advice. Please, what shall we do? Oh, my stomach hurts. I'm going to lay back a little bit. Can you guys go out there? Oh, you watch it. <laughs> yeah. All right. We're in there for we'll now. See yeah. Yeah. We'll see what happens next week. <laughs> yeah, we'll see, what happens. Yeah. see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Get it up. <laughs> <laughs> I think we had enough of my hero academia. I've been going on Yikes. way too long, so yep. we're right in here for now, and then we're gonna move on to our next shows. Um, so so that's it for my hero academia, and now we're gonna transition to Vinan Saga. So this was the final episode of the season. Pretty epic. Um, Holy shit! <laughs> I I was so shook. I did I didn't see that. Coming I didn't all. see it coming either. Like I didn't see it either. How many times did you guys gasp? <laughs> I just I was screaming the entire time. I was like, "Yo, this I guy's intense." I didn't think uh, Asai was gonna do it. I thought he was gonna wait till like I thought he was gonna walk away and then like Asai him in, in his sleep, or whatever. I think he do like right then and there. That was. Dude, Asla did what I've told so many characters in so many movies and TV shows before. <laughs> he did it. Just do it. He just did just it. Just do it. He did it. Oh, <laughs> it's the first so, time it's ever happened. So he's. When he said his uh his his real name was Lucius Art- Artoria Castus, like oh that's the that's um that's like the name that uh, King Arthur is based off on. So it's kind of like, name. It's my god. So like the um, the there's kind of conflicting like like theories about like King Arthur and stuff because the original um the original myth was from a like a uh, Welsh. A general fighting off against the invading Romans, either the Romans or the Anglo-Saxons, but like Lucius Artorius Castus, he was like a Roman general, so it's kind of weird that like that King Arthur come from him. So it's more, I think it's more widely believed that um, that King Arthur comes from like Artorius from the Welsh legend, but but that's like basically like the importance of his name. It's like that's why he called himself um, King of Britannia because it was King Arthur. So that's a lot to process there. The first thing I heard thought when I heard Britannia was Code Geass. Code Geass. I was like, wait. Yes. Because, because Britannia is the, the Latin name for the Isle of Britain, which yeah. is where Britain comes from. That's a lot to process. I thought it was pretty cool and I got goosebumps and I didn't even know that history. So, that's 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 how, that's how important that um that the significance of that is and um what was it? Uh Cause I, uh, cause also Brian linked in the chat too. There's a like a ten minute video explain. It was like explaining the history of the time period around Vinland Saga. Oh. So in ten fourteen is when King Sven. That's when he actually died. But it wasn't like there's like no like real historical um accuracy about what happened. So like, I I'd say this this defines it. Like if <laughs> if they were to ever talk to them about this in history books, they need to. Just literally say I'm this is what anime. happened, oh, and ask- just clip this part of the anime in their history class. The <laughs> oh, perfect. Aslat wasn't a perfect. real person, unfortunately. He's like the only one in the show that wasn't real. Listen, just say some dude assassinated this guy, and he went out like a boss. Okay, <laughs> this man just cut off the cake's head and literally killed like twenty other people. He's like, I. This guy is by far the best character in the first season. I don't. It's oh yeah, no, I mean definitely. Game. Yeah, he's probably like one of the best characters of the year. So. Like I, I, this guy came up, rose to the top, and just went out with a giant bang, and I loved it. It was <laughs> the best thing ever. And Ugh. I mean, it's pretty significant too that he gets to he basically gets to die at his prime. Like everything he's done, like he doesn't have anything else really. I mean, I guess like in general, he was still like a shitty person, but he was a really good character. He was he a shitty person? I think that though? this period in history just kind of breeds. <laughs> Yeah, shitty people. I mean, like I don't know. It was just different. Yeah, rules back then. And like when, like when made. the king goes up to to um to Aslan, and he's like, the only good thing that Wales, the only good thing the country goes to, is for is making slaves. And it's like, damn. Yeah. Listen, this man did not like the king disrespecting his country, he so like, he was like, you know what? I'm gonna just gonna like, kill you now because <laughs> just pissed me off. He just bro. basically called like everyone in your country a slave. So. 
<laughs> you called your motherland oh. a bunch of slaves. So yeah. Uh, any thoughts on Thorfinn and his reaction? I thought it was kind of funny. I thought kind of funny. Like when just like Asa about to die, he just says like, "What do you plan to do after this?" And just that's like another like hit against Thorfinn. Like you, just, you didn't think about any of this. What would happen if Asa mm-hmm. just yeah. dies? Yeah. So this the it was I kind of expected that kind of reaction. I was like, "Bro, you're supposed to die by me, not this dude." But uh, I, I think it was a good turning point for the character. Well, I mean, the title of the episode is called End of Prologue, so. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I should mention that, too, though, so that there hasn't been anything official yet, but um, there's, like, there's a video going, there's, like, a video that they put out that says, like, I forgot what it said, like, well, we hope to make, like, another, like, movie or whatever, which basically means, like, second season, so. An- a movie? The, it's, like, it's, like, it's a weird term they use for, like, just. Hmm. So people are saying like just like just it, they really mean like like second season. So so it's not like nothing official, but you can just assume second season because um they had there's like a video like that at the end of the video it's basically like a torn fin grown up with um torn fin grown up with like with a time skip. So I think there's gonna be a, maybe a little time skip. Oh yeah um. Uh, I didn't know what was going on with, uh, so I, I like sort of skimmed through like parts of the manga just to see like where it was like relative. <laughs> so I think like at the very end of the episode, they had like little short clips of like all these oh, yeah. different characters. Oh, yeah. People, yeah, those are definitely, I looked that, that up. That's that, that's people from the next arc. So, mm-hmm. yeah, so I yeah. would assume it's going to be a second season. So, yeah, I would think so I mean, too. And that seemed like a pretty big setup for yep. a second season. Feel free to read the manga if you can't wait. But oh, oh, I'm going to. <laughs> Dude, I, I, I like. I was just skimming through the manga. I got to like the first page of one chapter, and it was about Thorfinn. He was doing some crazy shit. I was like, all right, nope. I instantly closed it and just stopped looking again. I was uh, like, yeah, I think, I think I'll just wait for the anime for this one. Okay, I think the anime goes up to chapter 55. I think is what people said. Oh, that's so, it. Yeah, because there's a hundred. Wow. There's 160. Because it's, it's a monthly manga. Oh, I'm sorry. You said the anime goes up to chapter 55. Yeah. Oh, okay. The okay. manga's at yeah. 168 or something right now. Okay, that's more like what I was yeah. expecting. And the author, says, so I think there, there's like four arcs right now. I think the fifth one is going to be the final arc. Okay. So. Or th- nice. So. That's good. I, I 100% am on board with this show. It's a yeah, good I take back lesson. everything. <laughs> and oh, what, what, what you're saying about how it ended, like you're done with it thematically. Yeah, last week. yeah. I take back everything I said last week. This episode was great. Now I can't wait for more. Although I'm sad, <laughs> obviously, but yeah, this episode really like it really elevated like the series. Like I, mm-hmm. I'm gonna have a like, recency bias for like top of 2019 because it just happened. But like, I cannot like I have to push it up now because of this episode. Yeah, oh, yeah, I think so too. And like I don't know, maybe I was looking too much into it, but um, it I, I thought it was really cool how they did it so that as Aslod was acting like he was going crazy or going mad to deflect anybody's suspicions against Canute, like not going into Wales or anymore, basically just so that yeah. that subject got dropped. I thought it was really cool how it showed him going mad. And then you see Thorfinn actually losing his shit after he d- is dying. And meanwhile, he's also telling Thorfinn, you know, what are you going to do with your life after this? Like you, you know, there are so much more that you can do places that you can go. Your tour Taurus son. And it's just, it just shows that Thorfinn, like you said earlier, never thought about that stuff. And I just thought it was a really well-directed moment. So, and the dialogue was on yeah. point, too. I think all the issues we're having about um, Thorfinn, about, like, just how... I think that's going to be resolved next season, then. Like, because we finally got mm-hmm. rid of, like, his main baggage, basically. Yeah. Yeah. So. I want to read the manga to know if it's still my headcanon that at some point... Thorfinn sees um, Askeladd as his father figure. He just feels like he's his <laughs> yeah, father figure, he, he, just a I mean, little yeah, bit. Yeah, he is. Obviously, like, dysfunctional, but... Yeah. His reaction seemed, like, more than just, I wanted to kill him. That was that was part of it, because obviously that was his only ambition in life for most of his life, but I don't even think he was self-aware enough to realize that there was more going on. Yeah, I, I think for the characters, like, if you spend that much time 
with another person, you sort of create a different bond, even like subconsciously. Yeah. So it, it was it was it was pretty intense. Yeah, kind of something like Stockholm syndrome. Basically, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, Canute also was amazing in this episode. I thought his dialogue was great. He understood everything that was going yeah, on. Dude, he, like, he's, he's definitely rising to be a great leader. He stepped up. Like, I mean, he, he already did before, but he like that was he had like instant reaction. Like, okay, here's yeah. what I have to do as king, and he like shut down Floki immediately. Like, no, mm -hmm. I am the king. You have to do what I say. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. He did shut down Floki, and um, even um, uh, Thorkell. He was great too. He just stayed out. He was like, "This is not my business." <laughs> oh. I love. I love that character. I love Thorkell. He's so just the most chill dude ever. It's like, you know what? I'm just set this one out, bro. Oh yeah, uh, Brian. Like in that history video, I linked. Like it basically, like, Thorkell was in history. He was known as Thorkell the Tall. So. Like was kind of, it like a giant in his time? I mean, granted, I, these people are already giants. What is he like, eight foot tall I, or something? I don't know. Probably five eight. He just wore lifts in his shoes. <laughs> yeah. I didn't, he didn't, it, the video didn't explain, but I assume so. So, but so yeah. um. Also, uh, Brian, if I have to mention too, like this week we're just gonna do, we're just gonna talk about the last episode, and then next week we'll, where we have like kind of a break, we're gonna do like a recap of like the season in general. So we'll, we'll yeah. talk. We'll talk about the whole season next next week and then today we'll just I guess, focus on the last episode so if there's anything else you guys want to talk about no just... no it would mostly just be expressing emotions at this point <laughs> yeah. i just want another season man yeah i don't yeah. think I, uh, I think the rumor is like it won't be in 2020 so it might be like 2021 so we'll see 2020 excuse me you said 21 yeah <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? What the? No! That's, that's, the rumor, that's the rumor. So, uh, well, I mean, like, I don't expect to see it like six months at the at the earliest. So, actually, you know what? If they come up with an official announcement for 2021, I'll be a hundred percent okay with it because at least they announced it and mm -hmm. somewhat not rushing it. So, yeah. well, I mean, how, uh, how much space was there in between the um, Attack on Titan shows? Because I mean, it's basically the same quality, same studio. Attack well, it took them five years to get from season one and two, but one and two, was... but then from two to three, two to three it was only like, like, like a year. A year. It's like a yeah. year, and then I took like, right. a, a a season break for part two of season three. So yeah, because right. my understanding right. was like that long break from one to two for Attack on Titan was because of the the manga author, right? I mean, he just didn't even have that much material yet. Because I don't know. I think they, I think he had. I don't know something. I think what happened was like they didn't expect the anime get that popular mm -hmm. so then like they were caught off guard and they weren't ready to commit to like doing the like committing to the quality as the first season for the second season so okay that's what i thought too. I, 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 have, I have to look it up because it is really weird how it took them it took them so long for such a popular like show mm -hmm. yeah i don't i don't think there will be the same issue with this one there's already enough material out so, to steam forward, but, so it's just a matter but, of animating but, I mean, and getting a little bit more, maybe. But that's the thing too, is um, because there's still Attack on Titan season season four, so I don't know if Wit Studio is still gonna um, if they're gonna do that too, because then that would be why it would take forever for Vinland Saga to come out. Is because we have to wait for Attack on Titan. Yeah, so that makes sense. I'm okay with twenty. I agree with Brian. I'm okay with twenty twenty one as long as it's confirmed. But I think I think we can assume that yeah, there's gonna be a second season. Yeah. But that's all I have to say about it. It was oh. fantastic. All right. So real quick, I was just really curious. So like on this Vinland Saga like wiki page, they had Thorkill at like a giant two thirty centimeters. Put that at a feet and inches. He's like seven five. Holy lord! Wait, that's the official or? No, that's not official. That's like okay. the anime. Oh, wiki, the anime. So. Yeah, no, that's anime. <laughs> Seven five? That's pretty massive. That's, that's I'm pretty anime. sure that's that's taller than like the mountain. Like way oh, taller yeah. than the mountain. Oh yeah, for sure. I think the mountain was only supposed to be like seven foot. Yeah, the mountain himself is like six nine. So this dude's like a whole fuck tall. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, but other than that, I just I was so curious, but that's about it for yeah. that. I think um next week when we do the recap, I'll go over like the history more. So. Just seeing like Brian, where, what things. Read that length yeah. that David sent. So that we can yep. keep well, not that extensive, but like I'll like 
try to put it in context is like kind of what happens like during the whole series and what actually should have happened because um there's there's these two docu this historical documents called like the Greenland Saga and like Eric the Red Saga and those two combined together those are called the Vinland Sagas so which, which is mm -hmm. where the author got the name from so okay very cool yeah so but I guess that'll be it for um for Vinland Saga and then we're gonna head over now to Sword Art our favorite show of the show of this podcast. I'm, my I'm, favorite show dude, yes i didn't see this episode trent says it's garbage and it's not worth watching so i listened to him <laughs> you might as well finish it's the last episode <laughs> i mean do you care about spoilers brian ah uh, you guys are good there's another season so okay. okay so i don't think anything is really worthy as considering spoilers in this show like all right so i'm legit like <laughs> a minute in already yo these <laughs> americans are so stupid they literally jump in and just it like it's so brain dead mentality it's like hey i'm a brute i'm gonna just start killing shit it's like all right dude like literally when my first thought of it, when i jump into the mmo be like where's the first quest so i can start leveling but nope these guys are just going at it dude, but they're so good at english <laughs> it's the Their best dude. Is so top notch uh yeah. I, I i forgot again to put some of their sayings they they uh they said I think, like, the first word that they said is, like, charge and kick their ass. And gross. <laughs> or something. With, it was, like, something gross. I can't remember exactly, but... Uh, I don't know. So, um, with, with that in mind, uh, basically, after the first minute, I'd say a good 100 got obliterated. Uh, so, how many least... people back in America are severely fucked up now? Well, I mean, I don't think they're going to have, like, lasting effects like the... Like the, the the was it the fairy world? I don't think that's the because same I thing. think hmm. I think it's like if you just like die in the game, like you just you're just removed. That is that was right. weird uh, too, because um because they mentioned yeah they mentioned for all the other people, but I think for these people for yeah they didn't mention it, but it worked on the American players too. They had to deal with like the 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 like the pain absorb like absorbers not being there. Right, so the pain would be immense, right? Um, but the thing I just remembered is when that um, that one bad. that one mercenary right. that died when he fell into that bottomless pit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he seemed to be okay when he came back. Yeah, he, he was did, knocked out so... for like what eight he was hours out for a while though. Yeah, he was yeah. knocked out for eight hours supposedly. So, yeah. um, I guess it's not as bad if you do die in the game. I don't know, man. Apparently, you know, when you get when you get, your, get your arms lopped off like uh, Austin, it seems like it's fine. It's easy. <laughs> It's easy to get over, man. God, yeah, but she's not dead, right? So that should have been really painful yeah. for her. You don't want to go through the pain of losing an arm? Hell no. I mean, now it seems she... like she was more in pain when she was doing her uh, sacred arts. Yeah, uh, creating a fissure. But now her and Kirito God, have got to come. By the way, her her mm -hmm. and Kirito now have something in common, even though she didn't lose a full arm. Yeah, she got hers back. What a cheater. <laughs> yeah, it came back, so it's not too bad. <laughs> she didn't. Okay, it didn't come back. It got uh, reattached. reattached. Right. <laughs> okay, fine. Reattached. Whatever. Basically, yeah. it's back. So. Oh god. Like uh, this just, the, this, the way that like this they structure this, it's so weird because like everything was like to the scene was leading up to like this battle and like but it's a terrible battle. It's all been just this one battle and now like the Emperor grabbed Alice. And now that was like, a really st <laughs> that's just stupid. So yeah. just, Where's where's the final battle that you saw in the opening, right? Yeah. With uh, Alice, Asuna and um whoever this guy is, Vector, whatever. Yeah. There, there was like, no uh, battle. It was just she got captured. She fell asleep due to some gas. I mean, if, and then... I mean, when she probably wakes up, it probably be her and Asa maybe against against uh, Vecta, but that's not what I didn't think of. But it's just like I don't know. It's just um. I mean, apparently you can just get like you just can't. Like, the dragons just travel silent. <laughs> <clears throat> well, I'm you just saying like, like the, the, on them and that's easy. I'm just saying the structure of the story. It's just like I was expecting like them actually marching on into more of the dark yeah. territory like having actually like fleshed out story but it's just i feel so, so disconnected because it's all just this one battle like everything's happening in this one battle yeah like there's no consistency well, either did you guys notice that at the end when asana was giving chase to alice and the the demon king she was on a horse right and then when they're showing a scene of her like chasing all the chariots made it into <laughs> no no all the the guys, the foot soldiers, they were yeah. able to keep up with her on on foot. Yeah, that too. <laughs> right? Yeah. And then like, what what happened? There's yeah. no consistency whatsoever. Well, 
why give Asa and the horse? <laughs> give her the dragon. She's the most important person giving chase. Right, or that, or that too. You like, know, it's like this guy has an extra dragon. What, what are you gonna do with a, on a horse? Yeah, there's three honestly. dragons. Just like give one to Asna. Like apparently, you need um, you need to you need dragon riding skills for that. And then, <clears throat> and can't she fly? I'm pretty sure Asuna could fly. I think she no. I think she, she came from the sky and just floated down. I think she like that's how she got in, but I don't think she flew like that. Like I think that's how I she mean, was loaded in the game. She was in the air for quite a bit when she was. She was uh, creating that chasm. She, she was, but I also like, like how they give all these, consistency. Yeah, they give all these accounts away um, for free. They they all have no passwords. They're all like uh, pretty OP accounts. And then in the game, yet yeah, in the game though, they still have the dragons where they can only fly for what like half a day and then they rest. So, so that kind of uh, I mean, kind of how they're gonna do the fight? There's just like so many things we can nitpick, but like I just, I'm just, I just have issues with the main structure. Like, I don't like how this whole season is just this one battle, and it seems like I think next season is just gonna be a con- continuation of this one battle. Yep. Because I think um, that's basically or how like you know that the paladin guy he base or no, the the Pugilist guy he basically turned against the emperor too, like that fast, yeah, they... like. <laughs> Yeah, what was also what was funny too when he made the when he made the the comment where he's just like, like if the emperor gives like the order to like attack you guys again, we're gonna have to do it. I was like, bro, you just got removed. Like you just removed your eye. Like that doesn't. Okay, like, I was that gonna ask about that too. Anymore. I was like, because the eye thing, I thought that was only for Pontifex. So is that for no, everyone? It's, it's it's whenever you it's go into ever, coding. It's, yeah, it's 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 uh it's set for all AI. Yeah, that's why uh Yujio did it, and then um. So, Alice. Okay, I thought because I thought they said like it was a thing that Pontifex put on the human empire. It was. No, uh, I I don't think it was what the Pontifex put on. I think it's whoever the spy was. I think it was more uh, fixated on the spy. He put in these limiters on the AI. Okay, so oh, only Alice could uh, be the one that that broke through. But apparently, anyone else can if they are emotionally strong enough to break past that. Okay. Yeah. Because this guy was super pissed that his his clan was dying for no reason, and then I guess when he saw the dragon flew by, he just he just lost it. Yeah. Okay, that's the one thing <sighs> that, that was kind of confusing me. But but besides that, no, I just I don't like how this entire season is just this one battle. Like, it just doesn't. I don't feel. I mean, it's a sword art, so I but I don't feel like any like any stakes. It doesn't feel like it, it should. It's not as epic as it should be. Right, but, and there's but really no special, man. Isn't that enough? Isn't that enough for you? I mean, maybe if he was deflecting more bullets with his will alone, uh, maybe. Mm, or yes, not bullets, yes. but knives. Uh, imagine yeah, whichever. Knives. Right. Both. We get, we, get, we get what you mean. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I also, like, uh, I think it was around the... I don't know if it was the beginning of this season or whenever they they threw, like, those... Uh, when the guy that... The, the guy that fell down the ca- uh, the chasm. Uh-huh. Yeah. And they're like, oh, if you die, you lose your account. And then, the, then when he comes back, he's like, He's like, I have another account. I'm thinking, what the fuck was the point of like building up like the whole thing with his account? So he's just probably gonna bring his account from back in the day when they were in Ironcrad. Yeah. Um, I, that's what I just assume it is. And no, just... I want to say it's GGO because if you, I don't know if you guys remember. Oh yeah, but you know yeah. how you know how Sidon had that nightmare when she was fighting someone and mm-hmm. she actually got defeated by that one dude. Yeah, I think that's the same guy. And then he's gonna fight against Sidon and she's gonna yeah. have like. Like flashbacks. That's true. Yeah. This issue. I don't remember. So I'm assuming that's yeah. what's gonna happen in the next uh the I next don't season. Remember that, but yeah. like, cause he mentioned like this... he mentioned Asuna's lightning flash. So I thought he was like a PK or something. So they were PK, yeah. but then there were also the group that was fighting against uh the you other see... guys in GGO. Yeah, remember you when still, they you said can... they were just doing the tactical uh yeah tactical data. So yeah. you can still PK in GGO though. Yeah, you can PK in all the games. I know, but yeah. just like he he made it, they they made an importance to um to mentioned that he knew Asuna as Lightning Flash, which I yeah, assume is she's only... one of the more popular ones. I know that's well known. Well, she was. Remember, um, at the beginning of the first episode of like uh, Alicization, they they were all in the GGO world. Mm-hmm. Um, so maybe she has that nickname there too. Okay, who the hell knows? All right. I don't care anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah, because it's just like people just throw in, like they're able to just throw in their characters like wherever they can move them wherever they go. But apparently, wherever you move them, they can't move them out. So it's I it's... right apparently. It's just making the, the stakes that much higher. So you're gonna lose all your data, all your wow hours. Uh, yeah. But, I mean, uh, I felt like I'm the done. last two episodes did so much better with adding, uh, like consequences. Yeah, to the, like to the like plot. like high stakes. Like, 
Right. Yeah, I was, I was like, that's what I was saying last episode. I was more excited because we felt like it sounds like we're gonna, it's gonna be more high stakes. But then like now, like the dark territory people just teamed up with the human empire. So it's mm-hmm. like, I don't know. Yeah, we, dude, be, it's all the just you know random Americans, man. You gotta get rid of them. Yeah, like, yeah ra- brain dead Americans. fools. So sad. Just yeah, man, just swinging everywhere, just for the fun of it, just taking out their own people. Mm-hmm. I want to say the saving grace of this episode, though, was, was it? Uh, was it was out grace? at the very end and just making no sense though, obliterating everyone with her legendary non-rapid fire uh, bow. <sighs> She was so hot. Sure. Well, Saving Grace. <laughs> Saving Grace, guys. Even though, even, though, even though it just doesn't make any sense how they placed her in. Yeah, because then Leafa didn't even pop up either. It was just sitting on. So where the hell is Leafa at? Dude, all they're I... all going to jump in at the critical times where somebody's just about to get taken out. Then they're just going to jump in there. Well, and they're okay, going to really move on. That's just what you're done. Like, that's literally the last thing in this episode. Like, mm-hmm. I guess that, that's like, you can't help it with the way the light novel is. Like, You can't find a better way to end, but that's... That's not a good way to end the season and then have a break for a season, and then come back in in April. So yeah, no, they could have ended it when when Alice got captured. They could have just ended it right there. Yeah, that like right. yeah, that actually would have been good too. Yeah, right. perfect climax for the uh, set up for the next season. Yeah, instead they're they're setting up the guy that fell down the chasm to make him seem like he's like an evil guy. When I honestly I don't care about him. Well, I really don't care about his backstory. I don't even care how they're they're going to incorporate him. Just, mm-hmm. Like it's just like it's just. I don't know. There's no build up with this guy. Like it's it's just people that are evil to be evil, and it's just like there's nothing to like about them. Or even just just um just ending with Shinon like appearing. Just that's not a good way to end like the season. Like even though I consider her best girl, uh yeah, I still thought that was a really just terrible ending. Yeah. <laughs> um. Sadly, I have to agree. Why do we? Why yeah. do we? Why do we keep watching this show? Why do we do this to ourselves? It's too far back. It's too far in. It's just like a bunch of other shows I'm watching where I'm too far in. I just gotta see oh, it through. Oh god! Like, because we're we have addicted. to be. If, we have to be the the voice of reason for this show. Not unlike Reddit. Yes, exactly. We will fight Reddit. In a way. God. Yeah, uh, but, I don't care who you are, but if you say that the story is better than the original Sword Art season one, there's something wrong with you. There's dude, I, there okay. No I, real, real I plot here. I actually, actually, we can talk about that next week about like the parts that I actually liked of different the different seasons. But I'll so I will save it till next weekend. Right. I'm right. done, man. Move on. Moving on. Trash. Okay. Yeah. So it looks like we're done with Sword Art Online. We're uh, move on next oh, to Fire Force. God. Ooh yes. Just a reminder too. This week they had back to back, so it was 23 and 24. And then ending we got the this, season. And then we had a nice, yeah, a nice announcement that it's they're gonna continue in the summer. Mm-hmm. I think it, it, it's probably it might be just twelve episodes for summer, but it's good enough for me. I just want I don't more. Care. Yeah. So, Dude, which is so weird because at the beginning of the, oh, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say at the beginning of the show, it wasn't my favorite, but at the end, oh, I actually do want more. If they did twenty four season one, wouldn't they just do twenty four again next season? You when never know. Ever, like, when if they ever cut the uh the, the amount of shows in a season out? Dude, Food Wars. They've done that in Food Wars before. Yeah, where they, they because just, um, yeah. just because like so many shows are taking so much like. Because these anime studios are like they're so booked, overworked and booked, yeah. and like they're mm-hmm. running out of animators because people get getting burned out, and so you know, like there's more delays and like breaks nowadays because scheduling. So you never know. Mm, I, I suppose. Yeah. So, but it, I um, did not expect like uh, in the episode. I didn't expect um, Shinra to actually really get the show. I guess. Um. And I, I don't know if any of you guys think of that mind control lady is just annoying as fuck too. I didn't like. Sure. I, I, like, yeah. like, like, like as I get older, like I can't stand those type of characters. Like I just why fucking hate them so. Did you, did you like them? Stupid, were, 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 were they your character. thing when you're 16, friend? I see. I don't think so either. I, I don't know if I've like if I'm just starting to realize it now that I just hate that type of character because it's just like they're just they just act like oh like I don't know something about it. It's just like I just I hate you. Like that type of character where it's just there's nothing. You know, a lot of psych- so a lot of psycho characters are always fan favorites. So I don't know why. So let let, let that speak for the community. Yeah, yeah. Because deep inside, know. we true are psychos and can relate. To more, more, <laughs> more like you're all bitches that want to be stepped on. Uh, Dude, isn't that edgy how she has that crown over her eyes at all times? Man, fuck so stupid. edgy. I assumed. I I assume is she blind? Like I'm guessing, like they got blinded by oh. whatever they were talking no, about. Because there's other no, pe- there's uh, other people 
in like the cult that aren't that don't have blindfolds. No, there, there's a there's a reason for that. Um, if you go to the flashback, the reason why they have their eyes covered is because they're not supposed to look at the sun directly. They're just supposed to feel inside their heart. So that's mm-hmm. why they have it on. Because okay. if they're looked directly, they would be blind. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. But like no one else, like no one, like there's other people in the the cult that don't have the blindfold. So I don't know why it's only like those two. Probably because they don't have the uh, Adola link. So it's only people. Because this. Well, Sho has it, and he's not blindfolded. Unless he's just been underground uh, the whole time. No, he he was he went above ground, and he wasn't blindfolded. Yeah. So. But I I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's something weird. But that's that's the explain, explanation that that guy gave when they went back in the past, and he was with uh, Homura or whatever. Yeah. Like the girl, the the crown around her eyes. Mm. Uh, and that's also why um, their mom, Sho's mom, and Cheryl's mom. She took the horns from her head and just that was so, her eyes. Her right oh, her eyes. that was so right. fucked up. Because the Avengers yeah. was just too bright. That's just yes. that was fucked up. Okay, so <coughs> I think that was up to twenty four. Right? Because twenty three was just like twenty three was just it was. It was up to twenty three. No, twenty four. It was twenty four because he was explaining. Yeah, twenty four was what he explained. Okay. Well, I guess we can talk yeah. about them both because they both happened this week. But yeah, yeah. basically, like, um, I guess I sh- I wasn't I shouldn't be surprised that. It was like the mom was a demon and show. I, I kind of figured like something like show would start the fire. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I wasn't surprised that the demon was the mom itself. But like when they said that, I don't know, that really hit me for some reason. Like I was like, wow, that's yeah. actually really fucked up. And Mom? Like, yeah. It was a little okay, darker. Okay, no. Yeah. Like, like it's not <laughs> it unexpected, but it, it really hit me. Like, yeah. Um, like I felt so bad when I, just when they said it, like right there. Wait. So you've yep. been telling me the whole time when Shim was trying to get his brotherly like love across to show that didn't hit you? No. I thought it was good when they first, when they started like seeing like uh, I mean, that's clips. like that's that's every anime, but like Yeah, that's most it, it didn't wasn't anything special, but I don't know, just like when just when like they um just like all like the stuff, like just how Shinra had to grow up like everyone thinking he was the devil and like they, he started the fire and like him lo- that, losing his family. Yeah. And then like just, 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 just the revelation that like his mom is like the demon, and like, and, demon. and just, just yeah. the scene where she, she put her the horns on her eyes, that was really messed up. Yeah. So I think I just that's what yeah. made it worse for me. It's just like that scene. Yeah, yeah. because that cliche is also very uh, is done very often in other anime. So with the whole oh it was your mom the whole time or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Um. The one thing you don't really see though is like the the whole thing like when they ended the episode twenty four where uh, Shinra was basically saying like his new mission is to find a cure for it. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah so for those back to that just yeah, so that just reminds me of like just Demon Slayer just like trying to turn his sister back. Yeah, that's true. Now it's like yeah. Shinra has to turn his mom back. Yeah, twenty nineteen turning demons and yeah. infernos back. Well, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> the common thread like but uh, no with, with show though i wasn't actually expecting like him to get through to show this season I don't, yeah i wasn't uh, either i i was, I was surprised I was expecting that and then the, the part where like he got captured again even though they like they made that connection and he had to go back to the uh, uh, evangelist side i so thought knew that was coming well i just thought like he wasn't going to get to him like i thought Shin was just going to get his ass beat or something or they were maybe both just going to, in a way, knock each other out. And it's going to be one of those fight another day type of things. Mm-hmm. I didn't know it was going to be kind of like how it is now. But it, I think it, it feels like if they're setting it up for the, the crown chick to fight Arthur. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. He's, he's the counter. Later in the future. That, that was pretty the funny. The, the, the Arthur's, Arthur's my favorite character. Actually, Actually, I don't know. To be fair, I thought that the only reason it didn't work in Arthur was because he was really dumb. Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought the same right? thing, too. That was the first thing that went <laughs> through my head. That's what I thought, too. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's, it's the perfect matchup. A dumbass yeah. versus an intellectual that can control your mind. But yeah. it turns out it's, it's I think she's controlling though. your mind. I think, I mean, I guess you could call it mind control. Like, yeah, you know, just nerves, right? Nerves, she, she can, so. Yeah, so. I think even if she doesn't control your mind, she can still, like, move your body. Um... Uh, yeah, I guess because it's just all electrical interference yeah. or electrical connection. But yes, again, yeah, I guess the, with the, the weird, plasma the weird physics that the show puts in. But yeah, yes. you guys think yeah. Cap- do you, do you guys think Captain One or Seven are strongest? Ooh. Probably One because it's always like the the older like, hard ass that's the strongest. But no, they, he also they... has an Adola link, doesn't he? Does he? Or like some his 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 eye? Because isn't that why he could see the uh, like the hellfires? Well, I, I thought it was because like he he looked into it, but he he ended up losing one of his I, eyes because of it. I forgot the explanation. Like it was yeah. Dude, there's so many explanations that they've been like just throwing information at you like the last three four episodes. Like, like it's so hard to follow all of it. 
I didn't. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, I didn't think they were, it was because he had a, a Dolo link. I think it was yeah. something else. That's why he lost his eye. But I, I, well, I think it was because he was looking at, like the Evangelius light or whatever that, and then, like, uh, and he lost one of his eyes. Right, but I don't know how that came to be. Like, how did he make it to that land where where Shimmer and Shoal went? Where oh, the wait, is? Th- well, I thought he got there because of his mom. I thought he. Uh, I thought he. No, no, no. Place. How did the captain get there? Oh. Because they didn't really explain how he lost his eye or how yeah. that came to be, right? He, well, like even I, in the flashback, that happened way before he met Sho and uh, Shinra. Uh, that's true. He did have a patch on, didn't he? Yeah. Huh. And then when he went know. outside, he, it was actually causing like uh, it was a fire. Yeah. Right. right. Kind of like a uh, kind of like when uh, Shinra's legs start like buzzing. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. okay. Yeah. I... Dude, it's so much info. Like it's there was so much thrown at us. Like yeah. it was, it's so hard to follow all of it. And then, um, I remember like just, I remember like being so suspicious of, of Captain Burns. Now it's like at least we finally get to hear the truth. So, dude, he's he's badass. <laughs> mm, <laughs> he's so strong. Too. I don't think everything has been revealed yet. No, no, there's still a bunch of stuff that they that they could use that they still have hidden. No, even with the Burns character in general, I don't think yeah, until they show his whole backstory that there's more to it that he knows that he's not telling us. I mean, yeah. he could be part of the same group as like that Joker because he yeah. hasn't like come back yet recently. Yeah, so. mm-hmm. I still like Benny Morrow. I think Benny Morrow is still my favorite. <laughs> is he? So, yeah, but there's maybe, a lot of cool characters. Yeah, and then maybe like from now on, like whenever we see Show, he might just be mind control the whole time. I, I unless unless like, like he gets, unless he gets brainwashed by the the yeah. even Galliant, even Galius. Again, Giovanni. So it's not, he's not. It's not Giovanni. He's not the even. Yeah, he is. Well, he's working with them though. He's I know. working with them, but he's he's, he's not. He's also the uh, scientist. Not, but it's, before, it's before. Uh, it made sense because Sho was still a child, so yeah. he didn't really have any memories of Shenra and his mother. Yeah. So it kind of makes sense, but as of this point, I'm not really seeing how they can brainwash him. Yeah. Some firepower. That's that's the right. next excuse. That's always the excuse yeah. for Sho. It's easy. <laughs> it's easy but yeah and then also oh and also um like they showed lisa at the end too just being like she's still like emo she's so depressed because like i think the whole like just the uh, cult was her whole life and now that she, she left me she's <laughs> cult the crazy her whole life crazy and it's, like, the only thing she can focus on yeah guys she's emotionally destroyed right now she'll be Maybe, fine yeah could be i consider that for to build back up I consider that's a win for their group, so it, like she'll be, she'll come back. I, I believe in uh the mechanic or engineer, or whatever he is. You mean Vulcan. Apollo? Is that, is that Vulcan. There you go. I couldn't remember his name. for his name, man? Dude, I can't. I'm sorry. I'm... He has no powers. The disrespect. <laughs> anyway. Hey, man. Captain just, Obi doesn't have any powers too, and he's still he's still like the captain and a badass. I love the captain, but I don't know his name either. <laughs> did did anyone else said holy shit when he just broke that pillar down with his raw power? Yeah, that guy's badass too. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> There's a lot of really badass characters in this. He literally broke the support beam for that entire underground facility. It's like, awesome. that's, that that's insane, man. That's yeah, how. That's. So I mean, that's like that's like every show. Like when you have the zero power person, you, you they yeah. usually get a buff. They usually either buff or super smart to compensate for the lack of power. Dude, mm. this this show is so good without the itchiness. It's so good. <laughs> Or, or it's it's really I guess kind of like unique and different. Animations really like definitely makes it a lot better. I mean, uh, same studio but, as JoJo. Yep. Yeah. yeah. It's it's a awesome story. <laughs> but um, no, no, that's why I was I thought I was excited in the beginning, like because I was I really like the world and uh, the powers. So and even seems... though it wasn't even though it wasn't legit firefighters fighting fires. No, I was fine with that. David, <laughs> I was fine with that. <laughs> all right. So, all right. But, All right, yeah. well, I think I'm good until summer for yeah. this show. Yeah, so excited for summer. Hoping, so... hoping for 24. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, hoping so that's, that's going to be it for uh, Fire Force. And then we move on to Shokugeki, because this also had Ooh-hoo! the final, season, final episode today, even though it's like, it felt like kind of like an ending almost, because... Yeah, yeah. Like, I, it, I, I do think it felt it finished strong, though. Like, But we still have another season in April. That's a thing. Mm-hmm. So. so I was yeah, so I was wrong. Like I mean, I was first thinking like when I was looking at the, the like the manga the manga books, I was thinking like they're okay. There's they gotta be coming close to the end, but I was wrong. Um, it seems like there's another arc they're gonna pull out, um, which is I mean, that's... it makes sense because there's still two more years that they have to go through. Yeah, yeah, I was just, gonna, yeah. Just like just having like one more season when there's just a second year, it just 
And it's only gonna be twelve episodes. Just I just makes me not excited for it because. So do we know it's twelve? Yes, because okay. this is the last thing. Okay. This is like the final season. Yeah. Yeah, it, it feels like it, in a way like it should have been end like an end because Soma is the first seat or Soma's is the first seat. It's weird how they made wow. Naki, they made Irina the director. Um, you shouldn't be making that sixteen year sense. you shouldn't be making um, sixteen year olds the director of your school. Bro, she has the god tongue. Yeah, that's all she you knows. Mean, she mean knows she, all. Doesn't mean she can lead like a school. Those damn OP quirks. How dare they? Uh, wrong oh. anime. And second of all, <laughs> she can do whatever she wants. She has the god tongue. Okay. Oh, yeah, her family also like was it was Runs the director the or, or like owned that place basically. Like, right. Um, but what do you guys think of the, like the Elite Ten? Should we go down the list real quick? I don't really care. So okay. All right. Well, first seat was Soma. Second was Ishiki. Which I agreed with. I mean, I, I don't think there was really anybody else that was going to beat him. Even though I thought he was a third year, I did not know he was only a second year. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, Kuga, uh, I think that makes sense as well. Yeah. Uh, Hayama and Ryo, I I would agree. Yeah, I would agree with... Well, yeah. I don't know about Ryo, but Hayama, I Ryo's think... He's really good. Dude, even, even, yeah, though he loses, good. even though he loses to Hayama, like, he's still like really good. Yeah, that's true. But yeah. do you think anybody else in the list, though? Like, Alice was number six? I think... I actually think six is too high for her. We don't really uh, see her. Like... We don't really see her cook much, so I can't really say what her, her power level is. So. Yeah, I feel like Aldini would be a place I had. Hell yeah, dude! Especially number seven. Yeah, they made like, they made Aldini yeah. look like a beast. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry to say. I'll, okay, I'm surprised Aldini's not higher because they they did the rank by like whoever made it the farthest. Yeah, right. And like well, Aldini, Aldini was in the like yeah. almost the semis. So yeah, and Aldini broke all of our damn prediction rep brackets. <laughs> <laughs> he did, yeah, mm-hmm. but God. Oh, well. And then um, Aizen? Aizen? Yeah, Aizen, he's the guy. The Aizen. guy. <laughs> Aizen. Yeah. yeah, I forgot. That, dude, again, like, I thought that guy was like third year. I, was, I really wish that guy would just go away. I, I hate his character and everything. Um, I mean, someone's got to make the money. Yeah, I guess. But, dude, then Kinoki, like, uh, Kinokuni, like, uh, having her ninth, sure. But Megumi, tenth? Come on. I, I mean, to be honest, she's, she was never really that great. She's, <sighs> she's, she's lucky to be number 10. Right, like uh, she, I she just feel like if this like, cooking, like feeling. if this was like it was yeah, actually gonna go on, she get legit like get knocked off at number ten anytime. Yeah, I suppose. I don't know. I, uh, I was in a way hoping she was gonna be a little higher, but I guess no, she's, she's always like the as weak, long as she's she was, in top ten. She was like always like the yeah. weakest of everyone. So yeah, actually, no, I'm surprised but, that uh, I the, the weakest, the, but well, I'm surprised like the 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 meat chick wasn't on there because I think I thought she was pretty. Me, no. terrible. <laughs> yeah, I thought she was gonna be on there. No. I, I I would think like you know remove Eisen and then bring everybody up one and then you can put uh you can put her in tenth. I thought she was pretty uh, strong. No, I still think Eisen is still way stronger than them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I'm surprised that Eisen is above K- Kinokuni because I felt like since she was a higher seated before, why would mm-hmm. she be higher seated to uh, above him again? So I thought that was kind of weird. Yeah, but I guess when you fall in love, you kind of just give up that placement. <laughs> Uh, but I mean, dude, the ending got me so hyped up because I thought that, um, like, when Megumi was trying to tell the story of what happened afterwards, yeah, yeah, it went back to her hometown, a hotel, and you saw Soma there cooking as well. Yeah, yeah, I, I thought, thought oh the shit, same. it happened. Yes, and then it turns out it was just oh. he was just there. Oh, just a coincidence. <laughs> oh. Just a coincidence. It's like damn you, damn you, which creator. But I do like the new art designs, like the second year designs. I do like it quite a bit. So. I don't know, dude. Soma's hair is even shorter. It's only really the girls uh, that changed. Like it was like the the. That's, that's all that matters. Like what? the the, with the red <laughs> hair chick, whatever. She got her. She cut her hair, and like some people uh, change her hair. Arena's hair barely change. Everyone I else think, just, yeah. like, looks the same, really. Megumi is, I think, sure, though. Yeah, Megumi looks better. Um, uh-huh. dude, Soma looks worse. I don't know why you would cut the hair, man. Like he looks. Like Soma looks like, like he looks so badass. I barely know. I don't see six David. I he's don't see. Uh, he's getting the Naruto treatment. He <laughs> actually gets worse as he grows older. <laughs> Dude, the the one thing when they were like showing the people's seats, uh-huh. I, I was I was just thinking I was like, there's I was like I could easily see like where Soma's like, oh anybody could challenge me. Like, because they didn't say anything about the first or the tenth seed. So I was just like, dude, they're going to make it so someone's going to be tenth seed. Like, he's going to make, they're going to have it where he lost a bunch of shit just mm-hmm. randomly oh, because funny. it's him. That was funny. I, I was, I was so ready for that to happen because I was like, because when they're like, they're giving everybody like the seats at the end. I was like, dude, there's no way someone kept first seed. <laughs> I was so ready for, uh, just for them to just like say he, <laughs> he just fell. But it did not happen. They wasted an opportunity. 
I mean, honestly, though, there's no one that can beat him right now, anyways. So I guess it makes sense that he's gonna have... see. So this guy that 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 teased yeah, at the Ishiki... end with that yeah. random guy showing up. See, I think I think Ishiki uh, Ishiki could beat him, but I don't think Ishiki cares for the first seat. That's that's what I kind of feel right right now. Uh, no, I don't think so. You don't think so, dude? I think Ishiki's still like way more of a beast than uh, Soma. Because throughout the whole season, Soma's been growing at like an exponential rate, right? But then Ishiki I mean, has been kind of just exponential, oh, exponentially, right? Yeah, well, exponentially yeah. growing. But then yeah. Ishiki's kind of just been plateaued the whole season, just because he never really cared. He was just happy, uh, being with his buddies, learning new things with them, was, yeah, making ideas, making his own. Yeah, he like, was definitely like, helping the others more than actually helping himself. Right. Um, Although, like, they, I don't know. I think like the the P10 that the the elite ten right now, it's like they kind of got lucky that the third years did graduate because they could easily take back their dude, seats. Dude, sure. the, like sure. the we ten, like the <laughs> like the ten seats seem so weak right now <laughs> compared does. to what it was. Uh, yeah, the prior year. Um, <laughs> I don't know. That's my thoughts though. Yeah, I mean, but I don't know. It is what it is. Only second years, so there's still room for them to grow. Yeah, and they only yeah. I mean, well, when they all become third uh, third years, that, that then it's gonna be pretty stacked, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, but we're not gonna get there because it's kind of early. Yeah, it's gonna be one of those like uh, I'm sure it's like when the season's over, they're gonna do like the, maybe like the whole flashback or not not flashback, but kind of like uh, flash forward. Yeah, flash forward just to see like how everybody ended up and like where they are yeah. now and stuff like that. But does anybody know who like the new antagonist is? Like the last. No. I'm pretty sure that's, that's the tease for next season. Does anybody right. give a shit? Like, no. It's like, I mean, he looks like uh, he looks like uh, Erina's dad, doesn't he? Kind of. I thought that's what it was at first, but yeah, but he looked way too young. Yeah, He's, or maybe it's like. So I think it's, I think it's, I think it's a new character. It's probably like a new transfer sooner or something, or maybe, like... maybe it's uh maybe it's like her dad's like other son, <laughs> some shit. Other son. Yeah. You think? Yeah, you know, illeg- because, like, Ill- illegitimate child. Well, her because yeah, because her parents aren't together anymore, and that guy's fucking bad well, shit crazy. Never, well, they, we don't they, know if she's dead or not. They never mentioned what? Arena's mom, so that's yeah. Like... Yeah, so they could have easily, you know, yeah, that's true. And also, um, the her dad's the one that married into the family because it's her mom was oh was, was yeah the daughter yeah. of the grandfather, right. Well, maybe he yeah. went to America, found someone else pale like him, and they fell in love, and bam, you know, stuck in America. <laughs> It happens well, in Vegas. Stays in Vegas. Hey man, uh, like, I mean, that. I mean, the Alice, Alice's dad went to Denmark, found a random Danish chick. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I do right. think though, like, like this, this arc, like towards the end, was actually pretty weak. But I, I do think they, they kind of recovered pretty well with just like kind of the, the ending of what happened. The only yeah. thing I guess they, I think they failed at was just kind of setting up the next antagonist. I don't care because uh, they made it like right now. It's gonna end here, so. Yeah, I mean, they, they, they even, like, were wrapping up everything to make it seem like... Because, I mean, if they didn't I announce s- a fifth season, I would have thought that was the end. Like, right. uh, but yeah. besides, obviously, like, the, the last yeah. little scene. I, I mean, but, I thought about the structure of the, the, the battle, but I'll wait till next week. Yeah. Yeah, but... I don't know. It was, uh, it was still okay, but I, I still think, like, they, they kind of fumbled the, the final, because it's just... Yeah. I just didn't... They, I still think, like, that, that, like, how everything ended was just stupid, so... Yeah. Yeah, um, and I think we kind of we basically predicted it too how it was going to be where he wasn't going to be it was going to be one of those where he wasn't really truthful until of course you just see everybody's clo- like clothes just disappearing around him. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that was pretty easy to see, but yeah, not everybody's buddy buddy. It's like I know you did it for me, but it's okay. I'm happy you now. <laughs> so Get that but... shit out of here. Yeah, that was that whole thing. It's just like oh, I saw you working so hard, for, so we're just going to make it so everybody can follow instructions and call it good. <laughs> Worst villain ever. That, 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 I don't know. That whole well, thing was just stupid. Right, but... Because again, like this, <clears throat> the author or yeah, I'm, I'm gonna blame the author on this. He like he tried, he didn't do a good job of making the villain sympathetic. So now it's terrible. So yeah. n- now he tried to do it at the end there, and it just, it it failed because yeah. he was just mm-hmm. too evil. Like when we saw him, so I would I wouldn't say too evil. Yeah, I would just say his, well, his like, like, like his resolve was just yeah, it was kind of terrible. <laughs> yeah. Not not you, but it's like we, like yeah. you couldn't like sympathize with them basically. Yeah, so. I know what you mean. Yeah, like, but yeah, his, his whole thing was just pointless and stupid. So but. it's like it's hard to see. When, his, yeah, yeah. When is next season? When April. is the next season? So is it April? April? Okay, okay. Well, we will wait till then. And then I mean, and then hopefully, I'm I'm, I'm I'm hoping like some other cooking show can come in fill the void because I want to see more. I want to see more epic cook cook offs. Well, yeah, it's okay. This is this will be my one off my my one time. So I want to see more. Cooking, yeah, more anime cooking. 
Sure, man. Then you can tell me all about it during the podcast. <laughs> wait, wait. Do you guys? I don't know if you guys remember this. It might be too too uh, b- before your time, David. But uh, <laughs> Stratton, do you remember this one on uh, Ki- uh, Kids WB? Uh, what was it? Fighting Foodons. Do you remember? I no oh, I, I kind of remember. I think I remember kind of. I didn't right. watch it though. What it, was the show it was on? I, I think it was on like WB on Saturday morning. Yeah. Yeah, I, I watched WB or like the CW or one of those. Series. Right, right. So basically, it was these guys that cook foods and then they throw like a like a card on it that makes it become like a Pokemon in a sense, and then they oh. they fight against each other. I kind of remember uh, the theme song. That's the only thing I remember. Like I don't remember much from the show. Oh, All right, man. those ninety yeah, look, theme songs were so good. Yeah, yeah look it up because it was pretty cool. Like I said, it was like Pokemon but with food that you had to cook. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. The, Interesting. The, the main guy's first uh, creation was fried ricer. That's <laughs> pretty. That was pretty badass. <laughs> <laughs> and then he fought like a beast, like this giant Godzilla uh, guy called Beefsteak. Uh, um, Beefsteak. <laughs> yeah, dude. As a kid, I don't know if it's because I was a kid or not, but man, it was so awesome. I just can't believe they ended it because I think it only lasts about a season or so. Uh, Everything seems so much more epic and dramatic when you're a child. Yeah. Right. Yep. But dude, if they brought that back, I would be so happy because that show was awesome. Oh, and then they had, they had a they had, <laughs> they had a cowboy one that was a uh, that was a hot dog. Oh, I think I said a hamburger, it, but no, no, it was a hot dog. And then his his two he had two pistols. One was ketchup, and the other was mustard. <laughs> dude, oh man, I mean, I'm not gonna watch right. it, but it sounds badass. Yeah. Oh man, I hope they're bringing that back. That's man, such a cool. I mean, yeah, I just want more anime cooking, so. No oh, man. Well, we'll see. I don't know. If if there's something comes up, if it looks good, just tell me all about it, David. If not, <laughs> okay, don't, don't whatever. Talk whatever. I don't want to know. Um. So that's gonna be it for Tropikeki <clears throat> then. And then till we're... spring. Till spring, yes. And then mm-hmm. we're gonna move on to Orisuki because uh, I can't <sighs> believe that it's not even over because we have one more OVA coming in the summer that we have to wait for to technically finish this thing. What a stupid! I don't know. So this I, this episode really confused me. I have, like, I have no idea what the explanation was for like the girls like, f- like turning over their their care clips to 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 Jose. No, the explanation was there. It was just stupid. Like, oh, so what? Okay, like, so what was the thing? Like, I I totally like missed because it. you know how they're talking about how uh, we don't want you to hide your feelings to let others uh, like step over you. Uh, so they wanted Joro all for themselves, so they're gonna let Pansy go over to him to Yasuo because they wanted Joro for themselves. So if Pansy's not in the picture, they have a better chance of winning Joro's heart. But I thought like the whole thing was like they didn't want to do it because they considered her a friend. So why are they like back out at the last minute or whatever? They, right. they want him you know, as more of a friend. Right. But you know more how like friend. when you let your friend go ahead with your crush, it's gonna hurt you in the process, kinda like that that over justice thing. It was that portion, basically. They don't want to just give up someone that they love for the sake of their friend. They don't want to hurt themselves in the process. They want to be selfish and, and get it themselves. Yep. So that's why they, they made it so that Yasuo has a better chance of so winning was, Pansy. Was, was Pansy, was she happy that happened? Like, is that what she wanted? Uh, this whole contest is Yes stupid. and no. Yeah. <laughs> like, because they kept, they kept saying, like, like, like Pansy, okay, she she did the, she, like, did the agreement with the son so that she didn't have to put like bother like Jora with her problems, uh huh. And then like and then uh the was it the the chick that he he works with like he was saying like what what was she saying to him like she was saying like you know what to do whatever but yeah like as his best friend you know what you need to do because Sunshine wasn't really <laughs> betraying Jora he was actually setting Jora up so that him and Pansy could be together in the best situ- uh, uh situation possible. Yep. In so a way where Yasuo won't be able to come in. Yeah. In a way that Yasuo won't be able to come in and, and, and mess everything up. But um, then the way they're setting everything up is really dumb. Stupid. I, that's what, I just I just don't really get it. Like I don't really understand stupid. the whole like I, I guess like I I understood it when Dural he made it mm-hmm. up. Like I could understand like okay, like they're just gonna like he can get uh, his friends to help him, but I didn't understand like why they didn't do that, like why they like it was like that, and like, and Pansy, she seemed happy that they, they did that or something. So, I'm pretty sure Pansy has something lined up because at the very end, uh, Joro quoted uh, something from the book yeah, that the Pansy book. always reads, right? The whole the girl's luxury is that they're able to manipulate a man, so I think she probably has something set up for every 
thing that's going to happen later. Uh, that's why she didn't seem as as sad that uh, her friends were kind of like backstabbing her in a sense. Because she didn't seem sad, but I mean, she she smiled and she seemed to be okay with it. Yeah, but basically, like, okay, the, the actually I should say the contest was really dumb too. It was basically like, yes, like it basically like was controlling who she dated, like based on a contest she had no control over. That that, that part was right. really dumb. Yeah, it was, it was yeah. pretty dumb. Like her own opinion doesn't matter. That was. <laughs> Like this, like this MC has to be like the worst MC in all harems as of this point because Dude, he, he had everything set up perfectly for him and he just fucked it up with this whole contest started, thing. Well, yeah, he started off so strong and he's just fucking terrible. Well, you say that, but he still got the three girls. I mean, he got, he got, I mean, the two girls. He got his harem. He got the girls to confess, even though the journalist was already in love with him. So he right. it wasn't a surprise was for him. Just, yeah. I don't, know, I don't know, like, I think he should have known that, like, uh, I think he should have known that his two other friends were in love with him because, like, bro, the, the main, the main characters in the sh- in anime never know. Yeah, it's always know. just a mind, it's just a mind blow but, for them. Yeah, mm-hmm. that was the whole point of this character. He was supposed to be smarter than that, right? Yeah, this is what they, I'm saying. They, they, for everything. Yeah. they they took everyone's mo and like their unique identity and just threw it out the window. Yep, him, just made a typical Pansy. harm. Yeah, yeah. which is it's really dumb. Very disappointing and depressing. So. Even more, like it's, I really don't know how they're gonna cramp it, like the rest of the stuff in OVA. Uh, I mean, it's wait, it's basically just gonna be three and three, and it's just gonna be like a baseball game. Is that what yeah. it's gonna be? Yeah, the baseball game. It's just, it's just <laughs> an excuse to bring the baseball game. Just terrible. Oh, it's gonna God. be like yeah. the baseball game, and then the ending, oh. they're gonna bring it back the bench for something stupid. Yeah, I do. I do like it's the fact that they're bringing it back to the baseball <laughs> game because that seems to be the premise. That's that like this that's like the gimmick with this whole yeah. show, is right. the baseball game. So, yeah. I, I do like yeah. that, but just the way that they're executing it, I think it's really dumb. Twist. Like, Chan gets injured and Bench comes well, in. Well, I think it's because it, it was starting... <laughs> I don't know. Like, it was better as a comedy. At, or maybe... I don't know. Actually... No, everyone, no. It wasn't better as a comedy. I everyone like, everyone better... like, actually, I, know, I take that back. Everyone oh, liked it comedy. when it was... Because the first arc was super dramatic and I, I didn't like it. But everyone right. else did, so... Honestly, I just... I liked, like, the comedy and everything was just hilarious. It was also awesome, like, hearing the Deku voice actor just, you know, costing at people. Like... Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. And just his, just who he was, and even and, and Pansy, and then now they're just, just stupid typical harm characters. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. I know. I, I mean, I'm gonna watch the OVA, Do but want, we can just I, like I just don't. we can skip the recap for next week. Just like just because I don't think there's very much we need to say for the show. Yeah, I, yeah. There's really nothing much more to talk or say. Like, yeah, we basically gave like a, uh, yeah, the recap now. So it's just yeah. So just yeah. just watch the first four episodes and just give up after that. <laughs> Trust me, you'll be happier that way. I mean, yeah, that's, that's, actually, that's or... me reading the manga. Like, I, I, that's all I read up to, or that's all I was translated could... at the time, and then what I didn't you... finish after that. What you could do, you could watch the first four episodes, uh, and then just watch the recap episode that they had <laughs> to skip all those other, that other crap. And then I think it's what two episodes after that? Three, two. I think, uh, it I think two. there's three. Oh, there's three. Okay. Yeah. And then just keep it really short like that. And then if you really need to know how the ending goes, and watch the OVA when it comes out. No, no. And Trust me, know. just just finish the first arc and you'll be fine. Don't do, do the they, recap. Don't do anything else. Do they have the date set for the OVA? They just no. said summer. So hmm. yeah. So I'll just let you know when All it right. comes out then. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, is this, this is... the same show where somebody asked me several weeks ago about like if some girl confesses her feelings, oh, if it's yes. true yes. or not? Is that same? Yes. Is that all that happens in this show? Is just multiple people confessing their feelings each episode? That's pretty no. much what I'm gathering no, from that it. Just, no, that was just more. Episode, that was just this last okay. episode. But that happens a lot, just, though. It, but it was terrible how they set it up, though. Yeah. Fair. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm done with this show. <laughs> <laughs> it's been it's been demoted that we're not we can't even we're not even going to talk about it next week. So. <sighs> yeah, it's not worth it. <laughs> we've, right. we've spent enough time on this show. All right, we're just gonna end it there for now, cause um, because also I guess we should mention that Fake Marinor was on a recap this week as well. Again, so again, it'll, it'll, it'll be yep two weeks recap. How many recaps do you need for one week? season? I, just, I don't know, because I think the originally it was like was t- planned for twenty one episodes, mm-hmm. so this is like just to pad out like the airtime for the seasons. So, when you're in charge of fate, <laughs> you do what you want. So yeah, you don't care. You're making billions. <laughs> yeah, you make billions, but like, you still can't like. And adapt all the singularities, which I'll always rant about. Yeah. So, yeah. And then we had Kimo Michi last week. And so, we're just, yeah, we're just going to end it there for now. So, next week. Yeah. Because this is the, so 
again, this is like the, basically the last week of the fall season. So next week, uh, most of the winter shows won't be airing. There'll be a couple that be airing by the time we record this on uh, Sunday. So so Sunday, January 5th is when we're going to record it, and only a couple shows are beyond. We'll talk about that. We'll do a recap. Maybe yeah. we'll do a preview of what we're anticipating for the winter season. And then the week after that, January 12th, that's when... That's like that's after Q airs. That's when like all the other shows should air. So we should just like we will be, that'll, we'll be like, be that'll be like like when the winter season really starts. Even though it'll be, like, it'll be week two, but we'll, that's like when it will really start. It'll be our season two, and hopefully, like uh, we'll have a lot more changes as well. <laughs> Tons of changes. Better changes. I'm gonna haircut. Yeah. I'm gonna Better shave changes. my beard or trim yes. it. I'm my receding hairline right will be here. higher. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Uh yeah, the receding hairline. <laughs> hopefully this uh, <laughs> hopefully the video. This is our. You may know this is the first time recording videos. So hopefully the video recording wasn't as bad. I, I don't like that strand is like the main person in the middle. Bro, do you see this? Like I don't because we're recording this <laughs> do on Discord. You Dis- see this? <laughs> we're recording this on Discord and like I don't like how Discord did the layer like this. I wish it was just, like three like three normal on top and then two in the bottom that's what it should have done but whatever yeah it, it really should i don't need to be the whatever. center point we'll, we'll, see, we'll stick with discord time. right now we actually we could have used some other services but we'll stick with discord for now yes and i could also i would also like streaming service at 1080p <laughs> yeah cop, that's for free cop up the ten dollars a month hey yeah but we don't know the changes in season two maybe it'll happen <laughs> whatever maybe it'll be worth it oh my god <laughs> you're not gonna spend the ten dollars <laughs> All right, we'll see. We'll see. So that's gonna be it for now. Well, we'll see you all next week. All right, bye. 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 All right.